Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Wasaki, Wisconsin, where tonight the Wasaki Rangers open up m and Conference football, but it won't be a conference game. It'll be a non-conference opponent as they take on the Crandon Cardinals here in Wasaki. Mike Lyons bring you tonight's game along with Jake Scriven. And, Jake, a new season, new beginnings. Uh, very exciting days so far. And, um, you know, the whole week leading up to this, Mike, has just been a lot of enthusiasm on my part. I know yourself as well talking before the game. Hey, football is back, and here it is. It's on the gridiron. Let's go to war. Yeah, school just around the corner. These boys have been uh, – practicing in the hot days of August, and they're looking to hit somebody else instead of their own players. Absolutely. You know, you go through, through the last couple of weeks of practice, the, you know, even two-a-days. I know some of the teams around the area run two-a-days, you know, morning and evening, hot weather. You're starting to get into that cool temperatures. You know, maybe even the leaves start changing here pretty quick because, hey, fall is right on us. Well, as you look at a new football season, you know, you forget what happened last year. Players have graduated, new players coming up from the JV. So every year, even though some teams are perennial powerhouses, you always have to retune and, and recalibrate yourself. Absolutely. Both, both teams, you know, looking back at the stats from last year, both had great seniors that graduated. Now, some big shoes to fill, you know, but you had some underclassmen that also performed very well for both teams looking at some of the statistics. You know, a lot of seniors coming into the, team, into the game for both teams. This is going to be a really nice matchup and see who can fill the shoes faster and, and better. Okay, we'll take a quick break and we'll talk about whose shoes needed to be filled and we'll do a lot more of that on Hits 96. Let me tell you, Advanced Motors, located in Coleman, has AMSOIL for all your motorcycle, ATV, marine, and vehicle needs. AMSOIL, the first in synthetics. Are you or your student moving? Advanced Motors, a U-Haul dealer, also carries pack-in and moving supplies for all your needs. Stop in or call today at 920-897-2677. That's 920-897-2677. That's right. Badger Credit Union is pleased to sponsor high school sports and wishes best of luck to all area teams. Badger Credit Union is proud to be a part of the community. Become a member if you live or work in Marinette, Menominee, or O'Connell Counties. See them for all types of mortgage loans, auto, vacation, and unsecured loans. They also have debit and ATM cards, share draft, share accounts, and term accounts. Take advantage of no-fee checking for students and senior citizens. Badger Credit Union, 870 Frontage Road, Pestigo. Back at Wasaki, Mike Lyons and Jake Scrivens as the Crandon Cardinals have made the trip across mid-Wisconsin to the football field here at Wasaki. And Jake, as, as we said, there are some shoes to fill for the Wasaki Rangers. Absolutely. You know, looking at the Wasaki Rangers from last season, junior Eric Arndt, now senior, you know, completing completion percentage was very high for him last year, 915 yards passing. He also added 512 yards on the ground, so a, a, a two, a double threat, as it were, for the uh, Cardinals tonight from Crandon to kind of control his passing game, but to also control his legs and his running ability as well. Russell Smith, a senior now, coming into the game from last season, 716 yards. You know that's going to be the big role of what Wasaki is going to do. Lost a big receiver last year with Aaron Schleiss graduating. You know Eric Arnts. Biggest target with 707 yards last year. Took the grunt of the passes from Eric. Now, Wasaki is in that turmoil or transitional period here, if it were, that are you going to run the ball and be a run-controlling clock type of offense? Are we going to stick to the air and have somebody, you know, like Bailey Bricks come up and start catching some more passes and get some more yards under our belt? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they work it out. Last year, four. Four and five, just out of the playoffs, and they're looking to make a statement early and say that they're ready for a playoff run this year. Absolutely, and first-year head coach Grant Ross, you know, taking the helm for the Wasaki Rangers this year, has his team very fine too. And watching warm-ups here, and you know, Chris passes by all the quarterbacks, the backups included. You know, running some good drills and stuff like that. It's, you know, I'm sure he's got some butterflies and. You know, coming into his first game as a head coach uh, for the Wasaki Rangers this year, it's going to be a good season for him and, you know, hoping for the best and getting to that playoff playoff spot and five victories. It'll be interesting to see what kind of things that uh, 
Grant puts into the uh, program for the Rangers, or if they stay with what they had, the warming up that they're still going to be that wide-out, moving, uh, offensive-style team. And they, if you look at the two teams, Wasaki has some size compared to Crandon. Absolutely. You know, looking at the linemen down there far into the field, there's some big boys down there. You look at the Crandon side here, a couple of smaller kids, um, you know, some weights and stuff like that for the Wasaki Rangers. You're looking at a couple of guys, 220, 225, 230. You know, there's even a few boys down there at the end at 250, 270, 260. That's some big linemen there for the Wasaki Rangers. Crandon doesn't have any weights listed or heights listed in their program, but you know, definitely a size differential here for the Rangers' advantage. Okay, we'll take a look at the Crandon Cardinals, and we'll do that next on Hits 96. Mother Nature. Or human nature. Are you protected from the unexpected? An American family insurance agent can help you determine how much and what type of coverage is right for you. Call today for your free personal insurance review so you can check it off your list and off your mind. Call Pat Robbins at 715-582-4631. Your local American family insurance agent. Are you still shivering from last year's energy bills? BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning will help. Call 715-927-5656 for full service, including tune-ups on your existing system, repair, replacement, or new construction. The number again is 715-927-5656. Whether it's an upgrade or a tune-up, BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning has a solution. 24-7 service for your convenience. Call 715-927-5656. That's BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning. Back at Wasaki, Mike Lyons and Jake Scrivens. And Jake, uh, watching uh, Crandon warm up their full house backfield, or uh, strong, uh, strong eye sometimes, so a power eye as they call it. And uh, they're small, but they look, they look pretty fast. You know, pretty quick. And looking at the statistics from last year, starting quarterback returning for his senior season, only 475 yards passing last year, you know, Plus, he had 385 yards rushing. So another kind of, the, you know, two-tool player that can run the ball and he can throw the ball pretty well. But their biggest leader last year was Trevor Tupper. Over 1,000 yards rushing last year. That's definitely their strength. I'm assuming, you know, Trevor being a senior this year, that's their strength. That's what they're going to probably work with. They're going to try to control that clock, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and, you know, throw in a swing pass here or there, or a quick tight end slant, something like that to just throw that defense off a little bit, keep that eight man out of the box. Kind of like the Coleman Cougars in our conference, so maybe a, a similar type team, so Wasaki might have a little bit of an idea of what to look at. I'm sure they've looked at scrimmage tape of each other. I know the coaches usually get together and take a look at tape. And uh, this, this season coming around, we'll talk about M&O conference action here. Uh, last night, Peshtigo lost their opening game to a pretty, pretty good team from Bondwell. No, oh, Krivitz. Krivitz, I yep. mean, sorry. Krivitz, uh, 26, or 27 to 6, excuse me, and they actually played that down at uh, Green Bay Southwest High School, I believe, the Bondwell Field being under construction. So Krivitz losing that um, away game on the road down in Green Bay, and actually a away game for both teams, I would suppose. Um, but, you know, Krivitz looking, coming off a bunch of seniors graduating as well, you know, the whole conference. It happens every single year. You know, kids are graduating. You know, the shoes got to get filled. So. Well, as you look at the conference, I mean, last year you you had Peshtigo, you had Coleman, you had Krivitz, and Gillett was a was another team in there that was in the mix for this. Uh, Wasaki, right up to the last game, had a chance. And how do you look at it this year? What do you what do you see as as this your year, forecast this year? More than ever, it's probably any team's conference. It really is. You know, with the people that each team lost last year. You, you throw all the statistics, you throw the stats and everything out from last year. you got to start over from scratch. you got to make a statement in your first game. Well, obviously, Krivitz didn't do that. Krivitz lost to a very good Bond well team, showed up well, but now you got to learn from those mistakes. you got to capitalize on them. you got to go out and into the conference coming up here in two weeks, and you got to run the table, basically. You, gotta, you're, you lose a game in conference, you're going to be out of this race this year. Yeah, you, you have to... You know, maximize your efforts when you can. But as as we said, you know, this year, new look, new new optimism for Wasaki and uh, watching them move around in the warmups. I mean, even in the warmups, you can see that adrenaline for the first game. Both teams, they're they're ready to play. 
Absolutely. There's definitely a lot of excitement here, and even watching the Crandon Cardinals warming up here, a little bit of a false start there, getting probably a little too excited. Now what the, both coaches need to do, they need to sit their boys down here in the next, we got about 53 seconds left on the clock before we get through the national anthem and introductions. They need to sit down these boys and they say, hey, let the butterflies out. Let's calm down and let's play some football. So do you think a coach uh, calls a couple of easy plays right off the start to uh, help calm the nerves, or do you try something to maybe take advantage of those nerves? Boy, I don't know. That's that's a tough call. I think you might want to stay with your bread and butter, your trap play up the middle that you've, that you've ran so many different times, or, hey, why not? The first game of the season, it's the first few plays, run a trick play at them. See if it works. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, it's just about time for uh, kickoff. The teams are having their final meeting, and the uh, national anthem will be coming up. So we'll take a break and be back in just a couple of minutes here on Hits 96, WSFQ, Peshtigo, Marinette, Menominee. Looking for a credit union that truly cares about you and the community you live in? Then you ought to stop and see the folks at Bayshore Credit Union. Membership is open to anyone living or working in Marinette, Menominee, and Ocado counties. Whether it's everyday banking, a new auto loan, new mortgage, even a consolidation loan, they can help. And it's never too early to start establishing good credit. Bayshore Credit Union, located at 1514 Cleveland Avenue, Marinette, they're looking forward to meeting you. Privet's Lumber is here for your community and ours. Stop in to get help planning and designing all of your projects and leave with the materials you need, such as lumber, power tools, hand tools, paints, lawn and garden care items, seasonal items, Frigidaire appliances, and also a variety of equipment to rent for all jobs and seasons. Visit them on Facebook or at CrivetsLumber.com. Crivets Lumber, your local lumber company, here for your community. Located on Main Street in Crivets. Kermit's Auto Parts and Dyer Street. Kermit's carries quality CarQuest parts. Is your car in need of repair? See Kermit's Auto Parts, your authorized CarQuest dealer. Some of their featured products include batteries, spark plugs, filters, brakes, new water pumps, and so much more. Come check out everything Kermit's Auto Parts, your local CarQuest dealer, has to offer. Located on Dyer Street in Kermit's. Good luck to all teams in the m &O Conference. Hi, this is Paul, CEO of the Menominee County Federal Credit Union. We are proud to sponsor high school sports on base radio and we encourage all of you to support high school athletics as well. We know there's no better way for our young people to learn the lessons of life than by competing in sports. The Menominee County Federal Credit Union, where you dream the dream, will help make it come true with locations in Powers, Kearney, Stevenson, and Menominee. Persons living or working in Marinette and Menominee counties are eligible for membership. Hey, buddy. What? Hey, buddy. Was that my car talking? Nah, it's your engine, and I need an oil change. Oh, it hasn't been that long. Are you kidding me? Check my dipstick. It's as black as a La Brea tar pit. I know, I know. I just haven't had time. Call Pit Stop Quick Lube. Hey, you know Pit Stop Quick Lube has no appointment service, right? Just stop in, and they'll get you done. Pit Stop Quick Lube. What's your phone number? 906-864-2426. What's that number again? 906-864-2426. Write it down. 906-864-2426. Pit Stop Quick Lube, 10th Street, Menominee. And back at the Wasaki High School, Mike Lyons and Jake Scrivens. And Jake, uh, we do have been talking about new things. Even we have new things. We have new technology. And uh, fans might notice that we don't sound like we're over a phone line this year. We're not. We're rock broadcasting over the uh, Internet airwaves, as it were. So through the phone still, but over the Internet, a lot of quality. I hope everybody enjoys that today. You know, big thanks to the folks at Bay Cities Radio for getting us new technology. This is fantastic. Sounds great on our end. Hopefully it sounds great for you guys, too. And we're hoping that people like what they hear as we take a look just at the skill positions for Crandon. Uh, looking offensively, the quarterback for Crandon will be Kyle Wagoner, and the fullback will be Riley Wagoner. The other two running backs, Blake Quick and Trevor Tupper, their tight end, will be Joseph Talker. And uh, they're coached by Jim Moore. Both teams, we said last year, were 4-5 and five on the season. And so both teams hungry, looking for that initial win. 
one of five needed to get into the playoffs, and that's uh, where these teams are headed. So for Wasaki, uh, skill positions that we know, quarterback Eric Arndt, uh, a dual threat to run or pass, and uh, somebody they're going to have to keep an eye on. Russell Smith, the big fullback, is uh, ready to romp this year. They, they were handing it off to him quite often during the warm-ups. A uh, couple of things to look for. One, uh, Connor Kapinski. He's probably the fastest guy on the field, and he's a wide receiver, uh, not with the height of Aaron Schleiss, but still has the speed to get himself out there. Absolutely, and if Eric can get that pass out behind the de- defensive backs, behind the safeties, you know, Connor Kapinski can run all day long. That, that young man is fast, and there's no other word for it other than that. And the senior coming in at 5'7", 135 pounds, can run. Kind of a nice thing. Uh, we used to do this in Stevenson. The the team, instead of choosing to be announced singly and come running out, Wasaki was announced as a team. They came out, met at the the thing. I I, I kind of like that. I, I, even though it's nice to you know to hear your son's name called out, it's it as a team that kind of builds that unity. Absolutely, and you know all the freshmen all the way through the sophomores and the upperclassmen, you're looking at a team unity. Absolutely, Mike and. You know, what better way to do it instead of saying, you know, Connor Kapinski, Eric Arnton, and singling everybody out, they come out as a team, and they come out firing, and they're fired up and ready to go here. So for small schools, there's a lot of bodies on the sidelines as uh, both teams have about uh, 10 or more subs on the side. I know uh, in Stevenson this year we went to eight-man football, so that's a, a new look for them. Uh, I've been watching them practice while I taught summer school. So this is 11-man football, and there are lots of bodies here for these two teams. Well, that's good. And the last couple of years, there's been rumors flying around. You, Mike, you know as well as I do, there's small communities around here in the Eminem Conference. There was talk that Wasaki was going to go to eight-man football. It's really good to see all the red shirts over there. A um, lot more kids even than last year. So a good thing, uh, the younger classmen getting into football a little bit more. It's a fun sport. It's a contact sport. It's, they're lining up. It's almost time to go here. The talking is over. Dustin Westfall and Robert Bieber back deep to receive for the Wasaki Rangers. And Crandon getting set. Our officials are from the Marinette Menominee area. Keith Plude, Bruce Pearson, who's my basketball refing partner. And uh, Tom or Mike Andre is out there. And uh, Tom Malin from Marinette. So we're ready to go. We're just waiting for Crandon. And now they break their huddle. Everybody comes running out. And it's hard to see who the kicker is. I think it's number nine, and that would be Kyle Wagoner. And he approaches the football, and we are underway in this 2015 football season with the comes Bieber to the left side across the 25 to the 30, breaks out about the 32-yard line where he's dragged down by Blake Fenwick. So there's a lot of whistles, and uh, they thought maybe the ball was on the ground, but it was not. It's controlled by the Rangers, who will have it first and 10. They'll begin their season at the 32-yard line. First and 10 for the Rangers, Eric so, quarterback. Art, the quarterback, getting himself set, gets his players all together. Coming out on defense, it looks like a four-man front for the Cardinals. Looks like a 4-4 attack. Russell Smith in the backfield alone with Arndt. And we're waiting for the football, something... Not quite right. Now we're set. And so here we go. Arndt looking over the defense. Calls the signals. Handoff. Smith straight up the middle. He's got some running room across the 35 up near the 40-yard line. Going to gain seven or eight yards on the play. They'll give him a full eight out to the 40-yard line. Smith with a run. Wide open. A good good hole off the right side. And Smith galloped for eight. Second and three. Nice hole right up the middle, running out of that shotgun offense, and just a shotgun draw play, and Smith found a hole right up the gut and took her for eight yards. So Art back in. This time he's got uh, Smith and Rollo in the backfield. Handoff goes to Smith along the right side. He's met in the backfield, fights and gets his way back to the 39-yard line. He'll lose a yard on the play, and it'll be third down and three with the ball at the 39-yard line. So just a little bit of a loss on that one, just the length of a football, but it, we'll call it the 39 for third and three. 
Let's see what Wasaki has planned. Right off the bat, I think these first two plays, you know, we want to stick with Russell Smith's strength, and that's running right up the middle, just putting his nose down north and south type running. Here comes Art. Looks over the defense. Motion. Handoff goes as faked, and here comes Art. He's got the first down. He's got a lot more across the 50 to the 45. Gets out of bounds at the 43-yard line. So he goes marching 10, 18, 19 yards on the play. Aren't on the uh, keeper. And it's a first down at the ball at the 43-yard line. Good deception that time. He kept that ball in Smith's uh, breadbasket until the last second. Pulled it out and rolled around the left end. You know, just like I said, run, run Russell Smith up the middle. Aren't keeps it around the corner. and He can make that corner a little bit quicker than Russell Smith. He did just that and got it there and got a big first down for the Rangers on a third and short. First and ten for the Wasaki Rangers. They're in Crandon territory at the 43-yard line. Scoreboard clock is hard to see. We'll try to get that to you when we can. Smith up the middle. He drags a tackler or two, gains maybe a yard or two. Maybe a, well, we'll give him two yards on the play. It'll be second down and eight. Ten minutes and ten seconds or so to go here in the first quarter of play. As we look out the window, there's a big old light pole. It takes the scoreboard right in half, so we'll do our best to tell you what's going on. We're just underway in the first quarter, and Wasaki has the football on the first drive of the game. They're at the 40-yard line. Handoff up the middle. Smith, he's got some running room. Rolls across the 40 down to about the 36-yard line. Gain of about four yards on the play. It'll be third down and a long four, almost five, at the 37-yard line. Play coming in from head coach Grant Russ. Art calls it, breaks the huddle. Wasaki controlling the line of scrimmage right now. They're getting off the ball a little bit better and getting a little bit of a surge. Art calls the signals. Goes back to pass in the air. Intended for number 34, Bieber. That pass is incomplete. It'll be a fourth down and four, and I think from here they're going to go for it. Yeah, definitely four down territory here inside the 40. You punt it, you're going to maybe... And that's a slim maybe of punting and kicking it inside the five. Otherwise, it's going to roll into the end zone. You really don't give them any extra yardage by getting a touchback here. So let's see what comes up. Big, a big point at this game already. Fourth down and four at the 37-yard line. They have to get down to about the 33. Arndt looks over the defense. This time it's a four, five-man defensive front. Handoff. Arndt keeps it, tries the right side. He's not going to get enough. It's going to come up short. Arndt uh, tried that same play that they did before, the belly option. He pulled it out, kept it himself, and he's going to come up just a yard or two short. And so Crandon holds on downs, and it'll go over to Crandon at the 34, 33 yard line. So Crandon with a stop on fourth down, and Wasaki will go to the defense. Big front, five-man front. And we'll see what Crandon comes out with. Quarterback, Kyle Wagoner. It's hard to see their numbers. They're red, but they're dark red against their uniforms, so we'll do our best and try to see who we have here. Handoff goes up the middle, and it's a good gain of about three or four yards, and with the carry is uh, Riley Wagoner. Riley gains about three yards, maybe four on the play, out to about the 37. We'll call it second down and six. A little misdirection and a little leg surge gave him an extra two yards. Second down, six yards to go. Just underway in the first quarter. Crandon with the football, no score. Wasaki and Crandon. Wagner, that being Kyle, under center. Keeps this one and gives it back off again to Riley Wagner. Held on to it for a long time. That play was slow to develop, and Wasaki, uh, Jay, came in quickly. Absolutely. A good front push by the front five there. You know, eight men in the box on this, and probably a good reason because I think Crandon is going to run the ball a lot tonight. Good job by the front four, front three, 
for the Wasaki Rangers, getting that gap, and then the linebackers filling in and taking over that tackle. Third and five, they're gonna they're gonna say he nosed forward a little bit, but if it was, it was inches. So it's third down and about five or six. Wagner, Kyle, under center, looks over the defense. Wasaki ready to pounce. He keeps it around the outside. He's got some yardage, breaks it across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Kyle Wagner takes the carry. He's gained about seven yards or eight yards, and that is a first down for Crandon at the 46-yard line, that being their side of the field. So their first first down of the season, and both teams showing they can move the ball a little bit. And Wasaki will have to tighten up here. It is first and ten. Ball's at the 46-yard line. We have seven minutes to go, a little over seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Both teams choosing to be on the ground except for one pass by Wasaki. Kyle Wagner under center. Looking. Handoff. It's a pitch in the backfield. Goes to number 20 or 38. Tanner, or 28, Trevor Tupper. He's caught in the backfield. Looked like 38, but I want to say that was Tony Rolo on the tackle, number 36. Okay, Rolo with the tackle, a loss of three yards on the play. Second down and 13. Ball is at the 43-yard line. Wasaki looking over. Crowding the line of scrimmage with six. Handoff comes this way, and Wasaki had it defensed, but getting forward for about a yard is uh, Trevor Tupper. He gains about a yard and a half, so we'll give him two yards. It'll be third and 11 with the ball at the 44-yard line. Joe McTrusty with a great job to stay home at that left side linebacker position on that counter trap. You know, stay home is a big key there. You don't want to get sucked over to the right side. You get a wide open lane to the to the left and did a good job of staying home there and getting a tackle. Quarter going by quickly. Six and change left here in the first quarter. No score. Wasaki and Crandon. Crandon with a pitch back in the backfield and coming up quickly was uh, Joe McTrusty, and he was also uh, uh, Riley there. So a loss of about five yards on the play. Wasaki was all over that one, and it's fourth and long, about 16 yards for the Crandon Cardinals. And so Wasaki, barring anything tricky here, will get the ball back, going back deep to return. Connor Kapinski along with uh, Robert Beaver. Wasaki up on defense, and we're going to have a flag. Somebody from Wasaki jumped across. Riley Carnot. Carnot. He jumped across, and in high school, you can't come back. So that's going to be a five-yard penalty. It'll be fourth and 11. Ball at the 44-yard line. So fourth and 11 or 12. And we'll see what happens this time. As we said, Bieber and Kapinski back deep for the Rangers down at about the 20-yard line. Waiting for the kick. It's in the air. And it's a bouncer at the 28-yard line. Goes to the 20. Picked up by Bieber at the 15. Starts off to the left side. And he's going to be corralled at about the 17 or 18-yard line. And the stop over there made by number 28, Trevor Tupper, along with number 11, Blake Fenwick. So Wasaki will have it this time, first and 10, and this time they'll start deep in their own territory. They'll call, we'll call it the 16-yard line. Five minutes and about 12 seconds to go in the first quarter of play, our first quarter moving along quickly as both teams have kept the ball on the ground. Minus uh, one pass. So here comes the Wasaki Rangers. Aren't not under center in the shotgun. Calls the signals. Keeps it. Pitches to the right side. Smith breaks one tackle. 
But uh, stopped in the backfield. Coming up is number five, Ty Flannery. Flannery with a loss of two yards for Smith. Ball inside the 15 by just a bit. It'll be second down and 12 for the Rangers. See what they decide to do. They've got to be careful down in their own territory. Four and change left to go in the first quarter. Still no score. Both teams have been able to move it, but the defenses have been able to stop them when necessary. Wasaki comes up. Three split wide to the left, one to the right. Arndt keeps it. Rolls the right side. He's got some running room. Almost broke it away. He got, uh, looks like he got all of it. He's got 10, 11 yards, and I believe it's going to be just enough. Or is it going to be just short? They're going to say it's just short. So we're going to give them 11 yards. Third and one. His knee must have been down, and then he skidded forward. It looked like he had gotten the first down, but we're looking across the field, and the referees are standing right there. So here comes Arndt. Good move by Arndt there, just to squirt through that hole. There's not much of a hole to begin with. Got up there, give him a little bit more of a manageable third down and very short distance here. See if this is Russell Smith territory. Crandon crowds the line of scrimmage, looking for a blitz. Arndt keeps it, leans forward, and it's going to be close. He might have got about six inches on that one. And is it going to be six inches is going to be enough? And we're going to replace and it. First down. Oh, they're giving it to him. So we're going to give them all of a yard and maybe a couple of inches, but it's enough for a first down. First and ten for the Rangers at the 26-yard line. So it was just enough. Crandon sent everybody. They sent a full house blitz right up the middle, but Art was able to lean forward for the first down. First and ten. Six-man front for Crandon. Daring Wasaki to throw. Two to the right, or two to the left. One to the right, two to the right. Art back to throw in the air. Complete to Connor Kapinski. He's going down the middle of the field, across the 40, 30, 25, down to the 15-yard line. A great over-the-middle pass to Connor Kapinski from Eric Art down to the 15-yard line. So he's got 25, 35, 45, 55, and 5. So we're going to give him 61 yards on the pass completion down to the 14-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Wasaki. A beautiful pass and even a better run by Kapinski. That speed paid off. Broke a tackle, got down to the 14. Yeah, a great pass. Down and in, uh, Kempinski ran and hit him in stride, kept his stride going, split the safeties, and just ran away from him, broke a tackle. Big gain for the Rangers. Hand off up to Smith across the middle. He gets down near the 10-yard line, about the 11. We're going to give him a gain of three yards on the play. It'll be second down and seven. Tupper on the tackle for Crandon. Ball is at the uh, about the 12-yard line. Just inside that. So Wasaki threatening with under two minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. No score. Wasaki breaks it out. Two right, two left. Smith behind Arndt in the backfield. Arndt's in the shotgun. Motion coming to the right side. Arndt keeps it this time. Rolls around the left. Almost broke a tackle. There's hardly a gain on that one. Maybe a half a yard. Crandon was able to get across. It'll be third down. We're not even going to give him a gain on that one. It'll be third and seven. Ball at about the 11 and a half yard line. So let's see what Wasaki has up their sleeves on this one. Third and long. A minute 40 to go in the first quarter. Clock is rolling. Here comes the Rangers. In the backfield is going to be Rollo and Smith. One receiver on both sides. We got a whistle and timeout called by Wasaki. So Wasaki will take a timeout. We're going to do the same. Back after this on Hits 96. What kind of insurance are you looking for? Stop looking and let Tony Community Insurance Agency LLC look for you. 
Town and Community Insurance Agency has access to a variety of different types of insurance, such as auto, homeowners, business, life, health, farm, motorcycle, and watercraft. Available through plenty of different companies to get you the best and most cost-efficient insurance for your lifestyle. Feel free to stop in at our new location at 509 Alma Street, Pound, across from Ace in the Pound Business Plaza. Or call 920-897-5487. That's 920-897-5487. Visit North Motorsports, the area's only full-time dealer of Honda Can-Am, Ski-Doo, Sea-Doo, Snapper Outdoor products. From their friendly sales staff to the certified service technicians, they've got you covered. Vis- visit North Motorsports at 3711 10th Street in Menominee or give them a call at 906 863 Five five nine two and Kane driving the game, or driving the game to you as the number one truck destination north of Green Bay. Kane Chevy Buick GMC Ocano, Marinette. The Rangers have it. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball at about the eleven and a half yard line. Art hands it off the middle. This will be Smith. He breaks inside down to about the eight yard line. We're going to give him a gain of another three yards. And coming up with the stop with 76, Bobby Pfeiffer. Fourth down and five. Ball is resting just inside the 10. Make it, we'll make it the nine-yard line. So another big play for the Rangers. Fourth down. They've been down this way a little bit, playing on this end of the field, but able to punch it in. Here's Arndt under center. Three to the left, two to the right. Rolls left. Has a block. In trouble. Pitched it. It's a fumble on the play. They're going to say he was down. And so it's at the 15-yard line. And it's a stop for Crandon as Wasaki comes up empty on fourth and five at the uh, nine-yard line. So Crandon, again, stiffens and will take over on downs. You know, good job by the Crandon Cardinals right there just to keep working that play. Stretch it out as far as possible until you can get a guy there. And then a second guy and a third guy and a good pursuit by the Cardinals on that. You know, that's two possessions now. The Wasaki Rangers had some good first downs, running the ball very well, passing the ball very well in this last drive, just not able to get over that hump and get into that end zone. So Crandon is going to take over first and ten, and they're going to call it, the nine-yard line, they're going to say that was an incomplete pass. And it looked like a fumble. They're going to say it was a shovel pass, and they're going to give it to him at the eight-yard line. First and ten for Crandon. Under center is Wagner, Kyle. Hand off to his brother. That'd be Riley. He's going to gain maybe a couple of yards. There's a big pile under there. Coming up underneath the pile is Aiden Aiden Shaw. It's going to be about a four-yard gain after that. So we'll call it second down and six. Grandin had it at the eight-yard line, out to about the 13. You know, so far tonight in this game, two possessions by the Rangers, 112 yards total offense right now. You know, going in the first possession by the Cranon Cardinals, only seven yards of total offense, now 11. And that's the end of the first quarter of play. There's no score. Wasaki and Crandon will be back after this on Hits 96. Pestigo National Bank, your locally owned independent community bank, supports all local high school sports. Since opening in 1901, they've grown to five locations in Peshtigo, Coleman, Ocado Falls, Gillet, and Marinette. Hometown banking with your neighbors and friends, Peshtigo National Bank has proudly served the community for over 100 years. Locally owned community banks support and help fund local projects. Keep your banking local and speak with a representative today. Good luck to all area high school teams from Peshtigo National Bank, member FDIC. Kim Barrett and all the staff of Tri-City Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine in Marinette are committed to get you back to your quality of life. Tri-City Physical Therapy has been in business for over 25 years and specialize in the treatment of shoulder, knee, and back, as well as general physical therapy. Let them help you overcome pain after an injury or disease. Tri-City Therapy and Sports can provide you with the most skilled and personalized rehabilitation treatment plan possible to help you get back on track. Tri-City Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine at 602 Well Street in Marinette. Back at Wasaki, no score between Wasaki and Crandon and Jake. Early opportunities for the Rangers. You know, two possessions and, and two good drives, and one stalling out at about the 34-yard line, I do believe, and the other one inside that red zone, just not able to push that ball across the goal line. 
you know, right now the Rangers need to find Russell Smith. They need to get him going. He's got right now sitting on seven carries for only 17 yards. Eric Arndt doing a great job so far on six carries and 30 yards. So, you know, get your other running back into the game. you got Connor Kapinski with a great catch, you know, right over the middle. Maybe change some stuff up here and see if you can get that one little niche to get you over that goal line. Both teams crowding the line of scrimmage, so it's been hard to, to get any big plays up the middle, but both teams still plugging away, trying to get something to happen. Here comes the Crandon Cardinals in the shadow of their goalpost at about the 12-yard line. Coming around the right side. Wagner is across the 15 to about the 17-yard line. It's going to come up about a yard or two short. It's going to be a gain of about five yards. It'll be fourth and one with that ball just uh, over the 17-yard line. Play coming in from the sideline. Blake Fenwick runs it in from the head coach, Jim Moore. You know, eight plays right now for the Cardinals so far in this game, and this is their second play coming up, third play in this drive. All runs so far. Wasaki crowding the line of scrimmage. Linebackers creeping up third and one. Wagner, Kyle calls the plays. He's going to hand off his brother. Riley cuts the first down as he cuts across the 20 to the 23-yard line. Just a basic handoff up the middle. He got a little second effort, picked up two extra yards. But it's enough for a first down as Crandon has it first and 10. At the 23-yard line, just underway here in the second quarter. No score between Wasaki and Crandon. Crandon comes up to the line of scrimmage. Kobe Gallion comes over the football. Coming back behind him is Kyle Wagner. Barks out the signals. Hands off to the second man through, that being uh, Trevor Tupper. Tupper gains maybe two yards, maybe three. We'll see where they put it down. We'll give them two yards on the play. Well, I'm not going to make it three. Almost four. So it's going to be second and seven. That ball is across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Tough yards inside for both teams, and Crandon is just plugging away on the inside. Uh, one of these times, I expect him to go to the outside on a little bit of a deception. Handoff up the middle. Shows what I know. And there's a scrum. It looks like a rugby play down there at the 28-yard line. And carrying that one was Riley Wagner. He gained maybe two yards on the play. Well, yeah, we'll give him two. It'll be third and five at about the 28-yard line. You know, surprisingly enough, Mike, too, coming into the game, you know, looking at stats from last year, like we said, Trevor Tupper, over 1,000 yards rushing, only two carries, five yards so far tonight. So coming up to the line of scrimmage. Here comes Crandon with a big third down. Ball deep in their own territory at the 27, 28-yard line. We got a whistle, and it looks like too much time, maybe. Back judge calls it, and that's going to be a five-yard penalty. What Crandon was trying to do was use the use the hard count. Wasaki did jump a little bit, but nobody crossed over the line of scrimmage, so it'll be a five-yard penalty, and it'll be third down and eight yards back at the 23-yard line. So let's see if. Crandon decides to put it in the air or try something to the outside. Need to pick up a big eight yards on this one. Kind of shaking my head on that one where they would go with the long count, but they had a thought that maybe Wasaki would jump. You know, and, a, and a senior quarterback, you've got to be a leader on that. You've got to realize the time frame. You've got to watch that back judge. Get that play off so you don't get that long third down now. Back to pass. Across the middle is, oh, intended for Taller Walentowski. He was open. Wasaki had a little tip on it, but Wotowski was behind, Walentowski was behind the defense. He would have been off to the races had Wasaki not gotten a hand on that one. 
And it's fourth down and eight or nine from about the 23-yard line. Oh, big opportunity for the Cardinals right there. Got behind the defense, a wide-open pass. You know, good job by the Wasaki Ranger defense to get a hand on it just slightly, just to get it off the tips of the fingers of Lowentowski. So, Crandon in punt formation, but you have to be careful. Their quarterback is the punter. Kick is in the air. Good, and good sailor down to the 38-yard line. There's a, there's a fumble on the play. You can hear the coaches yelling from here. And there's a dig for the ball on the bottom, and let's see who comes up with it. Wasaki has the ball at the 38-yard line. Falling on the football was Hunter Durian. Durian grabbed it and fell on it in the midst of three other Crandon Cardinals as that ball was on the ground. So Wasaki will have it first and 10, this time at the 38-yard line. So let's see what happens as we're moving along. 8.20 and change here in the... Uh, Second quarter, still no score at Wasaki, Wasaki, and Crandon. Mike Lyons, Jake Scriven along with us uh, here tonight. As these two teams are trying to battle each other at the line of scrimmage, and uh, both teams kept trying to come up with one big play every now and then, but let's see what happens on this possession. Art, the quarterback, Smith behind him. Receivers three to the left, one to the right. Handoff is not given. This is Arndt on the keeper around the right side. Belly optioned with Smith. Kept it to the right side. Gained about seven yards on the play. Stop coming up being made by uh, Kyle Wagner and he looks pretty tired. Playing both ways. Quarterback and linebacker. He's grabbing his, uh, you can see him grabbing his belly there a little bit. It's a warm a little bit of a humid night so conditioning could play a factor if these Boys, make sure they get a lot of Gatorade and other things to keep those electrolytes going. Here come the Rangers. Arndt trips to the right, one to the left. Smith in the backfield. Arndt goes back, throws, complete. Kapinski out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That's going to be a gain of six yards on the pass. And that's a first down for the Rangers as they move into Crandon territory at the 48-yard line. So the pass to Kapinski, that's two of them that were able to get in there. So it's second, it was first and 10. The ball is at the 48. Twin receivers, both sides, Smith behind Arndt. Handoff goes to Smith, up the middle. He's got some running room. He breaks in the open, 45-40, down to the 30-yard line, inside the 30 to the 28. So he's going to gain 20 yards on that play, straight up the middle. And there you go, uh, Jake, what you were looking for. They finally got a, a good surge, and Smith broke some tackles, and 20 yards later, first down. That's what they need to do. Russell Smith, big, strong kid, strong legs. Keep those legs turning up through the middle, and hopefully you can break a couple of tackles and just get yourself going here, and that's just what the Rangers did on that play. Rangers have been able to move the football. They haven't been able to get into the end zone. Keeper, Arndt, to the left side, breaks out to the right. He has a chance. He might be gone. Ten, five, touchdown, Wasaki. 28-yard touchdown run by quarterback Eric Arndt. And just as we said, they weren't getting into the end zone. 28 yards later, Arndt goes in for the score at 6.50-something. 56. 6.56 of the second quarter. So Wasaki draws first blood, and it looks like they're going for two. Been interesting watching the pro game with the way they're doing the extra points now. So Arndt with Smith right be, right behind him. Back to pass. Pass is wide open and dropped by Dustin Westfall. So the pass attempt is no good. And Wasaki has the lead. 6-0 back in 30 on hits 96. 
Menards is a place to save big money on all your home improvement needs. Whether you're building or remodeling, Menards has everything you need for your home under one roof. From building materials and tools to paint, carpeting, cabinets, and all the finishing touches, you'll find quality products, helpful, friendly service, and delivery seven days a week. And at Menards, you'll always find the lowest prices and sales, too. Save big money at Menards. 6.56 remains in the first half, and Jake, it's now 6 nothing Wasaki, and I guess the sins from the first quarter are forgiven as they were able to move the ball smartly down the field and get the score. You know, kind of like we said in the pregame, Mike, maybe both sides being a little conservative, not going after that real big play, the trick plays, staying with the bread and butter. You know, Wasaki had a big play on a crossing pattern. That's pretty routine for most football teams. A lot of running up the middle, quarterback keeper, belly options. You know, same thing on the Crandon side. Run the ball up the middle, run the ball on the outside. Only one pass by the Crandon Cardinals so far tonight. But, you know, staying with that bread and butter, now you kind of have that monkey off your back. you got to score. Wasaki is, is looking to uh, capitalize and maybe now start to throw some trick things and a couple of things you've been working on these first couple of weeks of practice. So Russell Smith will be teeing it up for the Rangers at the 40-yard line. Uh, back deep, it's hard to see the numbers. It looks like... Trevor Tupper is back there. I can't see the other number from the far side. The ball is on the ground, and here comes the return from the 15, 20, 25. It is Tupper, 35, 40-yard line. And finally, Wasaki, and not quite now they got him down, down at about the 44-yard line. So a good return by uh, Tupper as he comes up across the 40 to the 44-yard line, where Crandon will have it first and 10. You know, good blocking there by the receiving team. The Cardinals, great job of getting through that zone, getting your running receiver, or your, excuse me, your return man up through the middle, get out to the outside, and got a big game, got good field position to start their third drive. So with the football is Crandon, Kyle Wagner, looking over the defense. Wasaki with eight at the line of scrimmage. Hand off up the middle. This will be Riley Wagner. He's going to gain about four yards. Staying with their bread and butter straight up the middle. Second down and six. Riley Wagner gained about four. Second down and six. The clock continues to roll. 6.20 and counting. In the first half, Wasaki leads it 6 nothing. Here comes the Cardinals. Power eye in the backfield. Power to the left. Handoff goes straight up the middle again. This will be Riley Wagner once again. He's going to gain another three yards. It'll be third down and a short three right at midfield. So another big play for Crandon. I want to keep this drive moving, get into Wasaki territory. I think it'll be the first time if they do. I can't remember if they got into uh, Wasaki territory or not. Here they come. They being Crandon Cardinals. Wagner. Hands off to Tupper. Tupper going to come up about a yard short. It'll be fourth and one. That ball is going to be at the 48-yard line, and there is a player down right now, and he's uh, looks like one of those heat-related cramps. He's down at the 49-yard line, and we'll take a quick break and be back in 30 on Hits 96. Find your next truck at Kane, the number one truck destination north of Green Bay for 2015. From the most dependable full-size pickups on the road, Kane delivers Silverado. Or the most advanced pickup ever, Kane delivers Sierra. Right now, visit Kane in Marinette or O'Connell to enter the Chevrolet Packers Ultimate Fan Sweepstakes. Win a 2016 Chevrolet and other great prizes. Over 300 quality vehicles at KaneGM.com, O'Connell, and Marinette. Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust offers a variety of loan programs, vehicle loans, personal loans, and commercial loans. They do real estate mortgages, offer home equity options, and work with government loan programs. 
Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust is here to serve you in three locations, Lovington Street in Marinette, Roosevelt Road in Marinette, and Highway 141 in Crivets. They can show you how to make your banking life easier, save you time, and save you money. Contact them today. Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust, member FDIC. So fourth down and about one and a half. The ball rests at the Wasaki 48-yard line. The injured player was Blake Fenwick. And it looked for the most part like that was some kind of a cramping situation with the heat. And so here comes Crandon. They're going to go for it. Fourth and a yard and a half. Let's see if they try the long count and then something uh, trickier. They just go with their bread and butter. Here's Wagner. He keeps it straight up the middle. He's going to have the first down and then some. Dragon bodies, still dragon bodies. And finally, Wasaki pulls him back, and he's going to gain about six yards on that after everything is said and done. So a good surge straight up the middle. And Kyle Wagner just kept it, put it on his own shoulders, and he's got a first down at the 43-yard line. You know, a good quarterback sneak, Mike, starts with the center. You have to have that push right off the line, and a good job by the center for the Cardinals Cardinals right now. I'll grab his number here in a second when he comes up to the line. Looks like number 60-something. 60-something. We'll go a couple of 60s in there, but good job by that center and just getting that front push and right off that nose tackle and getting him out of the way and getting the first down. It's hard to see Crandon's numbers. Now this is Wagner. He keeps it again. This time doesn't get the, quite the surge that he had last time. Coming around the outside to make the stop was number 55, and that being Riley Carnot and uh, Smith as the other tackler. So gain of two yards on the play. Time is rolling under four, about four and a half to go here in the first quarter or second quarter. Six nothing Wasaki in the lead. Both uh, both teams are pounding it out, and the clock is rolling fast here. Coming up to the line over the center is Wyatt Cheney. Cheney, ready to deliver the ball to Wagner. Kyle, back to pass, rolls to the right side, left-handed pass, wide open is number 14, and he's going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. Taller Wallentowski goes 43 yards for the or for the touchdown. So. The pass goes from uh, Wagoner, Kyle Wagoner, to Taylor Wallentowski, and we have a 6-6 score, and it's going to be a timeout. So that was almost like the play we saw before, uh, that pass down across the outside. He rolled to his right through to the left, and with the left-handed pass going across the body and got that guy wide open. Absolutely. You know, Kyle Wagner comes across in his own zone before and hits a, you know, had a wide open Taylor Wallentowski. Doesn't connect. Just off the fingertips. Hey, they go back to it a little while later and a huge score, 43 yards. Knots this ball game up with 331 to go here in this second quarter. So we're tied at six with the extra point still to come. There's a timeout on the field by Crandon as they're going to talk this over. And so we're even up as both teams throw uh, through body blows back and forth for a quarter and a half. And now both teams were able to hit the big play for the touchdown. And we're tied at six. So the referees have said, okay, boys, let's get back on the field. We want to remind you that Kane is driving the game to you as the number one truck destination north of Green Bay. Kane Chevrolet Buick GMC Ocanto Marinette. You're listening to MNO Football, the Wasaki Rangers on Hits 96, WSFQ, Peshtigo Menominee. And the ball is placed at the three yard line. And we're just, it's going to be an extra point attempt. So they called a timeout maybe to give somebody a little rest. And this will be Wagoner to kick the extra point. John Doan, the holder, puts it down. Kick is up and is no good. So we are tied at six as the kick failed, almost blocked by the Rangers. Took a while to get to the holder. And so we're tied at six with 3.31 to go. Let's see if Wasaki puts it to the air and tries to take the lead at half. Just uh It'll be Crandon's football to start the second half as they uh, 
kicked off. And Wasaki will be getting ready to bring people down. And as we look at this game, as we said, body blows early. And then finally they, they softened everybody up and they, they went with the big play. Absolutely. On both sides, Rangers having a couple of big plays there to get into the end zone on two plays over 20 yards. And then Cranning going back to that play that almost worked in the first quarter, you know, off the fingertips, going right back to it and getting behind the defense that we talked about it in the pregame. You know, keeping everybody in front of you, not letting that big play happen. Well, the Rangers, that's twice now, and I bet you the coaches in the booth next to us are thinking, hey, we're going to try that again, maybe to the other side of the field here next time we get the ball. So here comes Mr. Wagoner, triple threat. He can run, he can pass, and he can kick. And he's awful tired out there. You can see he's kind of dragging a little. He's ready to go. He counts everybody. He makes sure he has 11. Wasaki back deep to receive is uh, Dustin Westfall. And, no, oh, it looks like Bieber and Smith. And so Wagner set to kick. He gets, he gets the signal, approaches the football. Down the field it goes, and grabbing it is Bieber coming straight up the middle across from the 20 to the 30-yard line, maybe the 31, so about an 11-yard return. It's going to be put down just across the 30-yard line. First and 10 for Wasaki. Three minutes and change. Wasaki has to go 69 yards if they want to score. Here they come up to the line of scrimmage. They'll send two receivers right, two left. Smith in the backfield behind Arndt. Motion. Handoff up the middle was to Smith. And he lost maybe a yard as he stopped in the backfield. So loss of into second and 11. Ball's going to be at the 29-yard line. So a loss of one. Wasaki. Let's see if they try something they haven't yet. Wide to the right. Comes Quinton Ranallo. Receiver left. Here comes the blitz by... Oh, a, oh an almost circus catch. Crandon had the blitz coming on. They went for Ranallo down the right sideline. It was a jump ball. Ronaldo had it, but coming up with a great play on the defense was Trevor Tupper. He knocked it away. It'll be third down and 11 as Art, uh, under duress, heaved that one for a jump ball, and it's still got a lot of air under it, down to about the 47-yard line, but it was a good play by Tupper to knock that one away. Third and long for Wasaki. Ball at the 29-yard line. Kapinski comes wide this way along with Bieber. Two other receivers wide to the left. We have a flag on the play. It's going to be encroachment against Crandon. And that's going to be a five-yard penalty. Going to make things a little bit easier for Wasaki. There's the march of five yards. So it'll be third down and about six or seven. Ball is at the 34-yard line. 2.44 remaining in the first half of play. We're tied at six. So, Arndt has the play. Coming out over the football, Austin Dunlap. Grabs the football, Arndt in the shotgun, Smith right behind him. Trips to the left, nobody over here to the right. Arndt is going to be caught in the backfield and he spins out of it, rolls to his right. He picks up a block. He's got some running room. He might pick up the first down, and he does as he gets across. And there's a flag for a late hit coming up. And and, uh, hitting him out of bounds was Trevor Tupper. Arndt ran a long way, Jake, as he probably ran about 50 yards to pick up about 10. Yeah, that was a great play. Good job by Arndt just keeping his feet moving, spinning away from that tackler. And then getting all the way to the opposite side, the pursuit is all the way on the far side of the field away from us. He's got a wide open lane on the near side of the field. You know, good job of getting 10 yards, getting the first down, and then, hey, taking a late hit and adding another 15 onto it. 
you're in the Cranon territory now, and you're knocking on the door here with 2.32 to go. And the 15-yard penalty is marked off. That gives uh, Wasaki a first and 10. The ball is going to be just outside the 40-yard line in Crandon territory. The clock is running. It's two minutes uh, 30-something in here in the first half. Wasaki starting to move the ball, aided by a penalty. They're down to the 40. Aren't in the shotgun. Dual receivers right and left. Back to pass. Aren't is corralled and knocked to the ground by Riley Wagner. Wagner shot the gap, got through to the quarterback, and it's going to be a loss of about eight yards on the play. It'll be th- second and 18. It seemed like uh, they didn't see. It's like uh, Arndt didn't see him coming, and he came right in front of you. They always say those are the ones that are hardest to see. Absolutely, and you know Arndt a little fired up with his boys there, you know, nodding his head, clapping his hands pretty aggressively, you know, coming off that blind side, and that was just a, a good hit by the um, Riley Wagner coming off the weak side and just wide open lane right to Arndt. Both Wagners are blitzing from their linebacker position on almost every play. Smith hands up. Gets the handoff across the 40, down to the 38-yard line. That's a way to beat a blitz is to get that blitz run right up the middle. They get, they got him around the, that play. So a gain of about 10 yards on the play. It'll bring up a third down and eight, and Wasaki takes a timeout. We'll take one, too, back after this on Hits 96. Bayside Motorsports and Cycle is your full-line service destination, servicing most makes and models of ATVs and motorcycles, from a simple tune-up and oil change to major engine overhaul. Their expanded service department will have you back on your machine fast. Bayside Motorsports and Cycle also specializes in motorcycle and ATV performance work to keep you a step above your competition. Ask about their service specials. Bayside Motorsports and Cycle in Green Bay or at BaysideMotorsports.com. And we're back at Wasaki as the timeout is taken. We're tied at six, third down, and eight yards to go for Wasaki at the 38-yard line. Visit North Motorsports, the area's only full-line dealer of Honda, Can-Am, Ski-Doo, Sea-Doo, and Snapper Outdoor products. From their friendly sales staff to their certified service technicians, they've got you covered. Visit North Motorsports at 3711 10th Street in Menominee, or give them a call at 906 863 Five five nine two. So, a minute thirty or so left to go in the first half. Wasaki has to travel thirty-eight yards if they're going to take a go-ahead score here late in the first half. Game tied at six between Wasaki and the Crandon Cardinals. So, Arndt in the backfield. Crandon looking to blitz. Here they come. Arndt throws it deep for Ronaldo. Pass is incomplete. Defense. Back there by 41, uh, Walter Panic. No, make it 40. Justin McIntosh was on the defense. Fourth down and eight. Wasaki. 124 to go in the first half. Here comes the play. Arndt's going to have to hurry. That took a long time for that play to get in, so he's going to have to call it quickly and hustle his team to the line of scrimmage. They're ready to go. Receivers right and left. Barks the signals quickly. Back to pass. Throws it. Complete to Kapinski. He breaks it to the inside. He gets across the 30-yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down. Down to the 29-yard line. Gain of nine yards on that play. And that's going to be a first down for the Rangers at the 28-yard line. First and 10. A minute 16 and counting. Wasaki now in the hurry up. Art hands off. Now it keeps it around the left side. Got some running room down near the 22-yard line. Going to gain about six yards on the play. Clock is running under a minute. Second down and a long four. And the play comes in from Kopinski. Art calls the play. 
Ball at the 23-yard line. 40 seconds and counting. Hart hands it off. Smith has some running room down near the 10. Still running. Still running. He's down at the 8. He's still bowling forward. He's close. And they're calling a timeout. He's down near the one-yard line. Unbelievable. Second, third, and even fourth effort. Russell Smith gets down to about the three-yard line. 19 yards on the pickup by Smith as he just kept his legs a-churning, and that ball is down to about the three-yard line. So they didn't call timeout, so here they come to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. And there's going to be a penalty for illegal motion. Two as seconds. Two seconds left? Yep, stop the clock with two seconds. Dustin Westfall is going to be guilty of the misstep as he started in motion from the backfield. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. It was a touchdown. But. But. <laughs> as the referees get together. And they are talking to the guy in the white shirt, so that's not good for Wasaki. And they start marching backwards. It's going to be an illegal shift. Here comes the referee. Five-yard penalty, and is he going to give the motion here? Illegal shift against Wasaki. So the ball will go out to the seven- or eight-yard line, and Wasaki will have one chance. With the clock down at uh, two seconds. And Wasaki will take a timeout. We'll take a quick one. Back in 30 on Hits 96. Prestige Auto Body and Truck Repair has over 25 years of experience to make your repairs fast, easy, and worry-free. With around-the-clock towing, electronic estimating, early drop-off, pickup, delivery, and the comfort of knowing Prestige Auto Body and Truck Repair is an iCar Gold Class shop, one of only 25 in the state. Located on the corner of Highway 64 and 180 in Marinette. Call 715-732-4544. That's 715-732-4544 to get your estimate today. Prestige Auto Body and Truck Repair. They take the worry out of your collision repair. Well, Jake, as we look at this, it's a, this is a fun time for us. It's prognostication time. What do you call? Well, two seconds ago, tie ball game, first game of the year. I would be saying as a Wasaki Rangers head coach, Grant Ross, let's throw... Oh, boy, that's a tough one. You know, you just sit here and you think, well, you're running Russell Smith up the middle. He just broke one for 19 yards. You know, just kept his legs turning the whole time. Do you fake it to Smith? Do you run, try to run the corner with Eric Arndt? Do you throw a quick out pass to Connor Kapinski? I think those are your three options. Let's see what happens. I think he rolls to his right and gives him an option to throw or, throw or run. There's three to the right, one to the left. Arndt under center. Let's see what kind of coaches we make today. Arndt gets the signals. Smith behind Arndt. This will be the last play of the first half, barring a defensive penalty. There's the roll to the right. Looking, looking, throw across the middle, and it is incomplete. So the pass was there, intended for Russell Smith in the end zone, and that brings us to the end of the first half of play as the pass falls incomplete. We are tied at 6-6, Wasaki and Crandon. Both teams head to their respective end zones to take a break and we'll take one too we're going to take about a two minute or so break and be back uh, to talk about the statistics here on hits 96 go west on 180 at the holiday save on cars and trucks every day you're sure to save a mother when you take that drive west on 180 to the riverside to get to the roundabout make sure you yield don't go straight cause it's all cornfields just turn left when you see that sign come on in to the riverside we'll find what you're looking for just show up at our front door Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep and Ram trucks no overhead seats you big bucks come take a ride if you dare out with cows in the country head you save big money on your next ride when you see your friends at Riverside from the West Street 64 until you get to our front door in Marinette you're sure to save a bundle when you take that drive one way or another get to Riverside one way or another get to Riverside Thank you. 
Let me tell you, Advanced Motors, located in Coleman, has Amsoil for all your motorcycle, ATV, marine, and vehicle needs. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Are you or your student moving? Advanced Motors, a U-Haul dealer, also carries packing and moving supplies for all your needs. Stop in or call today at 920-897-2677. That's 920-897-2677. Two, that's right. Badger Credit Union is pleased to sponsor high school sports and wishes best of luck to all area teams. Badger Credit Union is proud to be a part of the community. Become a member if you live or work in Marinette, Menominee, or O'Connell counties. See them for all types of mortgage loans, auto, vacation, and unsecured loans. They also have debit and ATM cards, share draft, share accounts, and term accounts. Take advantage of no-fee checking for students and senior citizens. Badger Credit Union, 870 Frontage Road, Pestigo. Mother Nature. Or human nature. Are you protected from the unexpected? An American Family Insurance agent can help you determine how much and what type of coverage is right for you. Call today for your free personal insurance review so you can check it off your list and off your mind. Call Pat Robbins at 715-582-4631. Your local American Family Insurance agent. Back at Wasaki, Mike Lyons and Jake Scrivens as we uh, take a look at the Wasaki Crandon first half. And it's a typical first game, Jake. Both teams kind of uh, felt each other out for a while, and then they were able to try to throw a few things in there to get each other a little confused. Absolutely. You know, you look at the stats from the first half here, and we'll go through those in a little bit, but it just seems like that both teams, you know, a few butterflies, you know, maybe just stick into your bread and butter plays to try and, you know, get rid of those nerves. It's the first game of the season. Maybe play out and see. Make sure that those bread and butter plays still work. And for both teams, for the most part, they did. Um, not a lot of rushing by the Crandon Cardinals tonight so far. Um, kind of even across the board between the Wagner boys. Um, not a lot of passing. They just haven't had a lot of plays. Wasaki's definitely controlled that time of possession. Tonight. Yeah, it's been a very quick first half. Both teams sticking to the ground game for the most part. But Wasaki... If, if you look at one thing, it, Wasaki has been able to move the football. Absolutely. You know, total team stats right now, you look at Crandon sitting on 16 plays in the first half. You know, looking over to Wasaki, they're sitting on 23 plays. Granted, they had that ball in that last drive. They've had four drives compared to three. So, you know, taking all that into effect, you're looking at 83 total yards for the Crandon Cardinals compared to Wasaki's 218. So definitely winning the battle of the, of the line right now and yardage time of possession, everything going Wasaki's way, just unable to capitalize on two key possessions in the red zone. We'll take a look at the scoring summary, and we'll do that right after this on Hits 96. Are you still shivering from last year's energy bills? BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning will help. Call 715-927-5656 for full service, including tune-ups on your existing system, repair, replacement, or new construction. The number again is 715-927-5656. Whether it's an upgrade or a tune-up, BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning has a solution. 24-7 service for your convenience. Call 715-927-5656. That's BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning. Looking for a credit union that truly cares about you and the community you live in? Then you ought to stop and see the folks at Bay Shore Credit Union. Membership is open to anyone living or working in Marinette, Menominee, and Ocado counties. Whether it's everyday banking, a new auto loan, new mortgage, even a consolidation loan, they can help. And it's never too early to start establishing good credit. Bayshore Credit Union, located at 1514 Cleveland Avenue, Marinette. They're looking forward to meeting you. Taking a look at the first half uh, summary, as we started the game, Wasaki moved the ball smartly on their first possession of the game, and they were able to uh, get a 19-yard pass or 19-yard run from Arndt and get inside Crandon territory. But on a fourth and four, they came up a little bit short, only uh, gaining two yards and gave the ball to Crandon at the 33-yard line. Crandon came back, marched down the field on their own a little bit, but then uh, some negative plays 
pulled them back, and they uh, ended up with their first drive coming up with nothing. Wasaki again, a, a 61-yard pass on their next drive to Connor Kapinski. Got down to the 9-yard line on a 4th and 5 that came up short. And so for the second time, uh, being in Crandon territory, Wasaki came up short. Finally, the third drive of the game, Wasaki got it going, and it was on the ground, uh, runs by uh, Russell Smith and then Eric Arndt of 20 and 28 yards respectively, and it was Arndt's 28-yard scamper at 6.56 that gave Wasaki the lead at 6 nothing. They tried for two on a pass. That pass failed, and it was 6 nothing with a 6.56 to go in the second quarter. And then Crandon came back on their next possession, and they went with the pass, uh, kind of a trick play for them. Uh, they tried it earlier in the game. They've been running, 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 and they went to uh, a pass play. The first time they tried it, it didn't work. The ball was tipped by Wasaki. This time, Kyle Wagner found Tyler Wallentowski. Uh, over the uh, Wasaki defense on the far right side, he went 43 yards for the touchdown, and at 331, we were tied at six as the extra point attempt failed. So that's where we are at halftime right now. The score stands Wasaki six and Crandon six. We'll be back with the statistics right after this. Griffith's Lumber is here for your community and ours. Stop in to get help planning and designing all of your projects and leave with the materials you need, such as lumber, power tools, hand tools, paints, lawn and garden care items, seasonal items, Frigidaire appliances, and also a variety of equipment to rent for all jobs and seasons. Visit them on Facebook or at CrivetsLumber.com. Crivets Lumber, your local lumber company, here for your community. Located on Main Street in Crivets. Kermit's Auto Parts in Dyer Street and Kermit's carries quality CarQuest parts. Is your car in need of repair? See Kermit's Auto Parts, your authorized CarQuest dealer. Some of their featured products include batteries, spark plugs, filters, brakes, new water pumps, and so much more. Come check out everything Kermit's Auto Parts, your local CarQuest dealer, has to offer. Located on Dyer Street in Kermit's. Good luck to all teams in the M&O Conference. Welcome back to Wasaki, ladies and gentlemen, as the first half here, sitting at about six and a half minutes before the second half starts, it's the Crandon Cardinals 6, Wasaki Rangers 6, and looking at the Crandon Cardinals from that first half, we alluded a little bit earlier, 16 plays for 83 yards total and one score. Looking over at the rushing attack, which the Crandon Cardinals do rush the ball a lot so far tonight, they're sitting on 16 total carries eight of which by Riley Wagner, uh, 18 yards for him. His brother Kyle, the quarterback, five carries and 18 yards. And Taylor Tupper, three carries and six yards for him. Two pass attempts so far by Kyle Wagner tonight, one completion for 43 yards in that score in that first half. Going over to the Wasaki Rangers now, a bunch of plays, 23 for 218 total team yards. A rushing attack has been very even between Russell Smith and Eric Arndt, the quarterback. Ten carries apiece. Russell Smith coming in with 55 yards, and Eric Arndt with 82 scampers in a score. Um, going over to the passing attempts, eight attempts by Eric Arndt so far tonight. Three completions, all of which to Connor Kapinski, number 10, for 75 yards. A couple of penalties between each team. One that kind of hurt the Crandon Cardinals there with a personal foul, late hit out of bounds. Uh, wound up getting the Rangers into Cardinal territory, but just unable to convert there at the end of the half as that pass sailed in between a bunch of Rangers and a bunch of Cardinals incomplete and the time expired in that second quarter. And Mike, so far this first half, it's been a dandy. It's been a you know one of those classic gridiron, run the ball, smash mouth type football you know, with a few big plays mixed in, and the big plays is what kind of put the difference in between the two teams. It's been the, pretty much that uh, Bo Schembechler and uh, Buddy Hayes type of thing of three yards in a cloud of dust, and that's really what it's been. They've been pounding the middle of each each team and every now and then taking a, a swing for the, for the big play, and both teams have gotten at least a couple of big plays, and that's the... Uh, the edge in the game as we're tied at six. 
Uh, Wasaki, I think, has has dominated the line of scrimmage, but uh, Crandon has been able to eke out uh, what they've needed to. Uh, I, I think as you look at the second half, uh, the pass is there for Wasaki, but the run is starting to show that it, it can go as well. So I, I think Wasaki is going to have to use that varied offense if they're going to get get themselves into the end zone. Absolutely. You know, one big play is going to change the course of this game, definitely. You know, looking at Wasaki, Russell Smith started off a little bit slow. His first five carries, he only had 11 yards, a couple of losses. You know, Crandon was really tight on him. Then all of a sudden he busted open his, his seventh, and eighth, and ninth carry. You know, all of a sudden he started ripping off 10, 15, and he had a 20 and a 19-yard gain. So he's starting to get his, his roll going. You know, Eric Arndt coming off that belly option and running around the outside. You know, he's getting to that corner, and he's had some big rips um, on the running end as well. I, you know, I think really what Wasaki needs to do to keep that big play going, keep that um, Cardinal defense kind of on the fence of what they're going to do, you know, keep running the ball with Smith up the middle. He gets those legs turning. As long as he can keep his head down and not let anybody get a good wrap on him, he's going to stay up. He's going to gain a big gain. What I think they need to go back to is put Ronaldo and Kapinski on quick slants, quick passes. Get that quick pass. Let your fast receivers make the play then. You know, instead of going for that home run ball every single time, which they had a couple of jump balls to Ronaldo, he doesn't have a catch yet. It's just not working for him. It's it's too high up in the air. It's kind of floating. You know, Cardinals have a chance to get up underneath that and make a play on it at least. It's a jump ball. You don't want to do that necessarily the whole second half. I was going to say, Crandon seems to have uh, team speed. They both do. Uh, Kapinski is, is quite fast, as we saw. He tried to break away on that 61-yard run. But uh, Crandon is able with those jump balls to get underneath the, ba- uh, uh, the football and knock it away. And so the big play is really not there right now for Wasaki. So... They, like you said, those, those short, quick passes, they seem to be open in the flats, and it's just going to be the time factor because Crandon's loading up the line of scrimmage down. They're sending both linebackers, both of the Wagoners are, are blitzing on that, and they may be able to catch them in that, in that flat area. Right. They're almost running like a 5-2 defense, but what's happening is more of a dime defense or a nickel defense where there's three wide to the left, one to the right, or four. There, you know, their wide side is, is four solid where they can run that quick slant over the middle. There's no linebackers. There's no second-tier defense right there where it's wide open right down the middle of the field for a 6, 10, 12-yard pass. Let Connor Kapinski, let Quentin Ronaldo make the play with their feet and their ability to run and outmove the third-tier defense and the defensive backs of the Cardinals. You're listening to M&O Conference Football on WSFQ, Peshtigo, Marinette, Menominee. We're at halftime. The score is 6-6, Wasaki and Crandon, and we've got about uh, two or three minutes before the start of the second half. We're going to take one more break and be back on Hits 96. Hi, this is Paul, CEO of the Menominee County Federal Credit Union. We are proud to sponsor high school sports on Bay City's radio, and we encourage all of you to support high school athletics as well. We know there's no better way for our young people to learn of life than by competing in sports. The Menominee County Federal Credit Union, where you dream the dream, will help make it come true. With locations in Powers, Kearney, Stevenson, and Menominee. Persons living or working in Marinette and Menominee Counties are eligible for membership. Hey, buddy. What? Hey, buddy. Was that my car talking? Nah, it's your engine, and I need an oil change. Oh, it hasn't been that long. Are you kidding me? Check my dipstick. It's as black as the La Brea Tar Pits. I know, I know. I just haven't had time. Call Pit Stop Quick Lube. Hey, you know Pit Stop Quick Lube has no appointment service, right? Just stop in, and they'll get you done. Pit Stop Quick Lube. What's your phone number? 906-864-2426. What's that number again? 906-864-2426. Write it down. 906-864-2426. Pit Stop Quick Lube, 10th Street, Menominee. What kind of insurance are you looking for? Stop looking and let Town & Community Insurance Agency, LLC, look for you. Town & Community Insurance Agency has access to a variety of different types of insurance, such as auto, homeowners, business, life, health, farm, motorcycle, and watercraft. Available through plenty of different companies to get you the best and most cost-efficient insurance for your lifestyle. Feel free to stop in at our new location at 509 Alma Street Pound across from Ace in the Pound Business Plaza. Or call 920-897-5487. That's 920-897-5487. Back at Wasaki High School, it's 6-6, Wasaki and Crandon. And Jake, we have another score of the other game on our sister station. 
WMEM 570 over with Kit and Eric Bergstrom, which Eric just had our PA announcement there. 26 to 13, Fox Valley Lutheran leads the Marinette Marines right now. Next week, big week. Big week next week. Bondwell Bears coming into Peshtigal Bulldogs for us. We'll be on right here back on Hit WSFQ. Um, also, we have the biggest game of the year as far as I'm concerned. M&M game, Marinette Menominee, Saturday, 8-29. Is that a big game? That is the biggest game <laughs> in this area. You know, there's nothing like that tradition between the Marinette Menominee and the sister cities. You know, just great atmosphere, you know, big pregame party. You know, make sure you're tuning in for that, folks. It's going to be a it's going to be a good time. A lot of special guests with Eric and Kit. Uh, Bill Michaels will be there. I believe there's going to be a uh, ex Packer uh, to be named. Uh, won't. Uh, release any of that information just yet, but I believe he is the uh, starter of the Lambo Leap. We'll say that, and we'll maybe Eric will have a question of the week here, and who who started the Lambo Leap for the? Ah, uh, yes. I, now I now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. So, as as we look at this, you know, I, the the M and M game is such such a rich history. It, I remember when I lived up in up north, and the people would come down. We used to have a, a rules meeting for a sport. And it was always on the day of the M and M game, and they would come down, and we got to get back, we got to get back. And I always wondered why. What was until I moved here, and I actually got to be part of it. The M and M game is really something special. Oh, absolutely, and you know, you look at the small community of Osaki and Krivitz and Coleman. That's a big thing for Marinette County. I mean, just everywhere, people from all over go to watch that M and M game. It's some good football. You know, it's been both sides. Marinette's had good football teams. Menominee's had good football teams. Menominee, as of late, has had probably a little bit better football team, uh, making some deep runs into that Michigan playoff um, playoff run. So, you know, it's one of those things that it's just a good atmosphere. Anything can happen, whether you have a down year or an up year. It's a, it's a good game. It's a lot of fun to watch good high school football on a Saturday afternoon. Okay, we'll take our final break and be back with the second half on Hits 96. Peshtigo National Bank, your locally owned independent community bank, supports all local high school sports. Since opening in 1901, they've grown to five locations in Peshtigo, Coleman, Ocado Falls, Gillett, and Marinette. Hometown banking with your neighbors and friends, Peshtigo National Bank has proudly served the community for over 100 years. Locally owned community banks support and help fund local projects. Keep your banking local and speak with a representative today. Good luck to all area high school teams from Peshtigo National Bank, member FDIC. Kim Barrett and all the staff of Tri-City Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine of Marinette are committed to get you back to your quality of life. Tri-City Physical Therapy has been in business for over 25 years and specialize in the treatment of shoulder, knee, and back, as well as general physical therapy. Let them help you overcome pain after an injury or disease. Tri-City Therapy and Sports can provide you with the most skilled and personalized rehabilitation treatment plan possible to help you get back on track. Tri-City Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine at 602 Well Street in Marinette. So Wasaki is set to start the second half. They'll be kicking it off. Russell Smith teeing it up at the 40-yard line. Uh, Tupper and Wallentowski are back deep for the Crandon Cardinals. 6-6 six, six is our score as we start the second half. Smith gets the whistle from the official. He approaches the ball, and this one's in the air. Going to come down at about the 15-yard line where... Uh, Tupper drops the football, comes up field. He's got a little running room, and he crosses the 25 to the 28-yard line. He got a lot out of that, considering that he lost the football back around the 15, came rolling around to the right to the 28-yard line, where it's first and 10 for Crandon. So let's see if Wasaki's defense can still do the job they've been doing throughout this football game. Actually, both defenses have been stout, except for a couple of big plays. And here comes Crandon. Now looking for some bigger things here out of Taylor Tupper. Just, or excuse me, um, Tyler Tupper. With the football. Wagner. Hands it off. This might be Tupper right here across the 20, 35 yard line. And it was Tupper gains about eight yards, almost nine yards on the play. So it'll be second and short at about the 37-yard line. 
Nine-yard scamper for Tupper. Trevor Tupper. Cheney up over the football. Wagner calling the signals. Power eye to the left. Handoff straight up the middle. This will be uh, Riley Wagner. He's got the ball at the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down after a gain of three yards. Make it four. First and ten at the 41-yard line. Crandon with the initial first down of the second half. This game is tied at 6-6. It's on quickly. Both teams have been running the football. Long time in the huddle for Crandon. Here they come. And the referee starting to count in the back. Wagner keeps it this time. Across the middle. Breaks to the outside. He's got some running room across the 50. 45 aren't there to tackle him at the 37-38 yard line. That's a gain of 9 and 14. So 23 yards on the play for Wagner. Kyle Wagner started to the right side, broke it back to the left, got across the linebackers, and when he did, he was out in the open. The only one left was Arndt, who dragged him down at the 37-yard line, where it's first and 10 for the Cardinals. Here comes Wagner. Calls the signals. Power eye to the right. Hand off Tupper. Tupper gets to the outside. He's got some running room. Across the 25, down to the 20. And it's going to be down to about the 18-yard line. First down. And that's going to be... I didn't didn't get the yardage on that. They moved it too quick on me. I think it's about a 15-yard pickup. It'll be first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Crandon moving smartly here in the second half on their initial drive. Kyle Wagner, under center. Is it to Riley? Straight ahead, gain of a couple. Coming up with the stop was Joe McTrusty. Two yards on the pickup. It'll be second down and eight. In the red zone are the Crandon Cardinals at the 17-yard line. Second down and eight. Play comes in from the sideline. Cheney comes up over center. Wasaki with a five-man front. Everybody in tight. Power eye to the right for the Cardinals. Uh, Wagner keeps it. Rolls to the outside and a good... Tackle coming up from the outside. Connor Kapinski on that one. Connor Kapinski saved a touchdown as Wagner spun off the first tackle. Started to the outside. No gain on the play. And that's a good no gain because that one could have went a long way. Third down. A short eight. The ball is at the 17-yard line. Got to get inside the 10 for a first down. Definitely four down territory. Here come the Cardinals. Power eye to the right. Tight ends, both left and right. Everybody in tight. Pitch goes to Tupper. Wasaki's all over that one. And there's going to be a loss of about a yard on the play. Kapinski, Ranallo, also number 55, Riley Carnot. And there's a loss of two yards on the play. It'll be fourth down and just under 10 at about the 18 and a half yard line. It's, it's shorter than 10, but it's a long nine. Let's see what the Cardinals have in store. Wide receiver goes out. We've got a whistle, and that's going to be uh, there's an illegal substitution. Too many men on the field. Too many men on the field. And that's going to be a five-yard penalty. It's going to be even longer now. 14, 
fourth and almost 15. A young man came up to the line and just ran right off the field. I don't think that's legal in uh, high school football. No, I don't think you can do that. No. Fourth and 14. So fourth and a long 14. The ball is at the 23-yard line. Here comes Crandon. Tight ends in tight power eye to the left. Masaki looking to blitz. Back to pass. Goes deep, and it was almost intercepted back there by Eric Arndt, and so Wasaki is held. And they'll take over on down at the 23-yard line. So Wasaki will get the football back, their first try of the second half. Just over seven minutes to go in the third quarter. As we said, this game has been... Speeding along, I think the the only thing that's dragged is halftime. And the clock was rolling. So here comes the Wasaki Rangers. Coming up over the football. Austin Dunlap. He'll have Arndt behind him in the shotgun. Smith is the lone setback. Arndt keeps it around the right side. Has some running room. Sit down at about the 29-yard line. So a gain of about six yards on the play. It'll be second down and four at the 29-yard line. Play coming in from Kapinski. Aren't kind of holding his arm there a little bit. I don't know if you noticed that. He was kind of rubbing his arm. Probably got a helmet on it on that running play. See how he reacts here and see what, if Grant... Russ, the head coach, will will see that as well and keep running the ball. And he is going to run, and it's going to be Arch, and he breaks into the opening. He's going to roll. He is going to go. Maybe Tupper can grab. Oh, he's going to be grabbed at the 12-yard line. Pulling him down was number 40, Justin McIntosh. But 21 yards to midfield plus another 37. So a 58-yard run. Up the middle by Arndt. First and 10, the ball is first and 10 in the red zone at the 13-yard line. So both teams are, have threatened the end zone on their initial possessions of the second half. But Wasaki has it with six minutes to go here in the third quarter. So Arndt has his team up to the line of scrimmage. And we're going to need a timeout. So we're going to take a quick break and be back with more on Hits 96. Menards is a place to save big money on all your home improvement needs. Whether you're building or remodeling, Menards has everything you need for your home under one roof. From building materials and tools to paint, carpeting, cabinets, and all the finishing touches, you'll find quality products, helpful, friendly service, and delivery seven days a week. And at Menards, you'll always find the lowest prices and sales, too. Save big money at Menards. Find your next truck at Kane, the number one truck destination north of Green Bay for 2015. From the most dependable full-size pickups on the road, Kane delivers Silverado. Or the most advanced pickup ever, Kane delivers Sierra. Right now, visit Kane and Marinette or O'Connell to enter the Chevrolet Packers Ultimate Fan Sweepstakes. Win a 2016 Chevrolet and other great prizes. Over 300 quality vehicles at KaneGM.com, O'Connell, and Marinette. Both teams hustle to the line of scrimmage. We're back at Wasaki. Mike Lyons and Jake Scriven. 6-6, Wasaki and Crandon. But Wasaki is at the 13-yard line, and they are threatening. After the timeout, let's see what we do. Arndt, keeper, Smith up the middle. He's going to go into the to the two-yard line. Looks like he was going to go in. The one official looked like he was running to the end zone, but he's knocked down at about the three-yard line. So that's a gain of 11 yards on the play. It's first and goal from the two. So Smith goes straight up the middle. Both teams have made adjustments, Jake. Absolutely. And, you know, and just like we said, a big play is a big deal. And Eric Arndt scampering for 58 yards in you know, another 11-yard scamper. So the big plays are still prevalent here for the Rangers. Arndt looks over the defense, barks out the signals, whistle. And I believe there's going to be some motion. 
It's going to be against Wasaki, so that's going to back them up. Five-yard penalty for offside. It, it'll be first and goal at the eight. So that makes it a little more interesting. Yeah, with the running attack of the Rangers, though, eight yards should be able to get that in four plays. Definitely. So here come the Rangers. Dunlop over center. Arndt looks over the six-man front. And another whistle. And another flag. And I don't know what this one is. It's going to be another offside penalty. Legal. I don't know. What? Yeah. They're they're lining up offside. So the referee on this side has has pointed both times, and nobody's arguing. So it looks you know they they've shot themselves in the foot here. It'll be first and goal at the 13. Here comes Arndt. Single setback, Smith. Twin trips to the right. He goes to the left side, or right side. Goes deep for Ronaldo, and that pass is incomplete. And back deep to uh, defend the pass was number 40, Justin McIntosh. And they went for the jump ball to Ronaldo in the corner, and that comes up empty at second down and goal at the 13. There's that idea we were talking about going for the jump ball again, and it. It wasn't open that time as the defender was right there, and actually Ronaldo had to play defense to keep that from being intercepted. Here's Arndt. Gets his team set. Trips to the left, one to the right, the one being Ronaldo. Whistle, and another penalty. Nope. It's going to... It's going to be a... T- ah, Wasaki will take a timeout. And we'll remind you that MNO Conference Football is brought to you by North Motorsports, the area's only full-time dealer of Honda, Can-Am, Ski-Doo, Sea-Doo, and Snapper Outdoor products. From their friendly sales staff to their certified service technicians, they've got you covered. Visit North Motorsports at 3711 10th Street in Menominee or give them a call at 906-863-5592. And Kane is driving the game to you as the number one truck destination north of Green Bay. Kane, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Ocanto, and Marinette. That brand new store in Marinette is awesome. It is. It? I haven't been over there yet. I'll have to take a swing over there for the uh, M&M game coming up here. Yeah, I was out car shopping the, the last couple of weeks, and I got a chance to visit a lot of the car dealers in the area, and I was treated very well by all of them, yeah. so... As we have uh, here, we're in the third quarter, 450-something left to go in the third quarter. We're tied at 6. 6-6 six, six is our score. Wasaki has the football. They just stopped Crandon on a fourth down and five deep in their own territory. And now they move moved the ball all the way down to the 13-yard line, and we're at second and goal after two offside penalties. Mental mistakes have given Wasaki a little bit of bad luck here after moving the ball. Handoff, Smith up the middle, and he's corralled right away. They sniffed that one out, they being Crandon, and maybe even a loss of a yard on the play. It'll be third and 14. Oh, definitely those penalties are killing Wasaki right now. Two big penalties. You're sitting inside the five. Now you're backed up all the way almost to the 15 after a loss and loss on a play. Those penalties are coming back to bite him right now. Third down, 14, third and goal. And again, trips to the left. One receiver to the right. Arndt back to pass. Goes across for the slant. Ronaldo was there, and it was just overthrown. It'll be fourth down. The pass was there. He, he faked going outside, came back inside, he being Ronaldo. And the pass was just overthrown. And it'll bring up fourth and goal at the 14. Let him just a little bit too much. And a good call there by Coach Coach Ross. You know, coming over the top of the middle, like we said at halftime, that's wide open over there with, with eight men in the box. You know, you had three D-backs to the left and one on the far side. That's that's an easy call. Just missed a pass. Fourth down. Both teams have had a fourth and 
goal as they uh, try to work it out. Here comes Arndt. He's got a player in motion. Fakes the handoff, keeps it around the left side. He's got some running room, but he's not going to get to the end zone. He gets down to about the six-yard line. So a gain of eight yards on the play by Arndt. And Wasaki is going to be stopped on fourth down. And Crandon will take over, this time at about the 11-yard line. So Wasaki had a play. They had some yardage there, but uh, Crandon was sniffing that one out. Absolutely, and give the Cardinals a lot of credit right here. And so far in this game, they've stopped Wasaki twice in the red zone on a turnover on down. Seemed not a field goal type situation in this kind of a style of high school football. Not a big leg there for either team. Go for it. Anything inside the 40. You know, Crandon's been doing a good job of stopping him and keeping him out of the end zone. Wagner comes up over center. Split backfield. Handoff goes straight up the middle. This will be Tupper. And he might not even get to the 10-yard line. He gets to about the 8. So a gain of about a yard or two. It'll be second down and 8 at the 8-yard line. I said it was the 11, and they moved it back to the 8. Second down. So he make it a two-yard pickup. Here comes the Cardinals. Power eye to the left. Everybody in tight. Wasaki, six on the line. Coming in on the blitz. Handoff goes straight up the middle. This this will be Riley Wagner. And there's nothing there. Coming up with a big stop was number 55, Carnot. And no gain on the play, so it'll be third down and eight. Ball rests at the eight or nine yard line. Here comes the play in from the sidelines. Wasaki is loading the box, playing man coverage on the tight ends. Again, full Power eye to the right. Whistle. Penalty. And what do we got this time? Well, it looks like uh, another offside penalty. It is. And that will move Crandon back five yards. Down to the four-yard line where it will be third and twelve. So each team, after we talked about how pretty much a clean first half, now we're having a lot of penalties. Yeah, all of a sudden, and a lot of offside penalties, whether it's the linemen, we can't quite see what the motion is or what they're seeing down there, but the referees are a little nitpicky on the uh, offsides. Pass goes deep, and the only person who could have caught that one was Eric Arndt, as the pass goes deep down the right sideline. Intended for number 14, Taller Wallentowski, and it's incomplete. Brings up a fourth and long for the Crandon Cardinals. We are tied at six. Two and change left to go here in the third quarter. Both teams scored once in the second quarter. Wasaki has had their chances. Crandon has had a couple converted on one, but we're still tied at six. So, punting situation, I would think. Back deep is Kyle Wag- Wagner. And again, here comes another flag. And somebody is lined up offside again. There will be a half the distance, so about a two-yard penalty. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it back and forth. They get up close on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, maybe one of the tackles isn't quite up to the line. He's sitting too far back. Yeah. Could be a couple different things. Punt is almost blocked. And we'll see if they... Depends what the referee has to say. Did they touch it or did they not? I don't believe he did. It didn't it doesn't like look, they, they didn't throw the bean bag, so I don't think they touched it. It didn't seem like that ball changed direction in any way. So yeah. They gave it back to Wasaki, so Wasaki will have it. First and 10 at the Crandon 47-yard line. You know, 
kind of a mental mistake there, too. That ball hit probably around the 32, 33 yard line in Wasaki territory. You got to stop that ball. If anything else, just flop on it. Because now you, you lost another 20 yards. You're starting a little bit deeper. You're still in good field position, don't get me wrong. But a little bit of a mental mistake there. You just got to flop on that ball and get it in your deeper into your own territory. Receivers right and left for Wasaki aren't in the shotgun. Hand off up the middle. Smith, he's got some yardage. He's going straight forward. No, that's not Smith. That's uh, Tony uh, Ro Rolo. Rolo goes up the middle. It was 36. I thought it was I thought it was Smith, but it was Rolo. He went straight up the middle, down to the 28 yard line. So that's a gain of 19 yards and a first down for the Rangers. Back on the attack at the 27 yard 28 yard line. First and ten. This is Smith around the right side. Gains maybe a half a yard on that as Crandon came up and sniffed that one out. Good pursuit to the left side. We got a player down. I think this might be another cramping situation. Trainer comes over. So we'll take a quick break and be back in 30 on Hits 96. Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust offers a variety of loan programs, vehicle loans, personal loans, and commercial loans. They do real estate mortgages, offer home equity options, and work with government loan programs. Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust is here to serve you in three locations, Ludington Street in Marinette, Roosevelt Road in Marinette, and Highway 141 in Crivets. They can show you how to make your banking life easier, save you time, and save you money. Contact them today. Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Bayside Motorsports and Cycle is your full line service destination. Servicing most makes and models of ATVs and motorcycles. From a simple tune-up and oil change to major engine overhauls. Their expanded service department will have you back on your machine fast. Bayside Motorsports and Cycle also specializes in motorcycle and ATV performance work to keep you a step above your competition. Ask about their service specials. Bayside Motorsports and Cycle in Green Bay or at BaysideMotorsports.com. All right. At the half, Eric Bergstrom over on WMAM 570. Fox Valley Lutheran leads the Marinette Marines 36-13. to 13. And once again, that's at the half. And Ouch. Kind of a blowout there for our sister station, Kit and Eric. And the injured player who is down right now, and it's uh, Kyle Wagner. He's the quarterback and the linebacker, but it, you could tell it was just a cramp. I mean, he's he's been moving kind of slow with uh, exhaustion, and when it's this warm, if you don't if you don't get any rest, that's what happens. Yeah, still sitting probably about 70 degrees outside right now. The humidity is set in. It's a sticky, muggy night, and you're playing both ways. The quarterback position, you're getting the ball every single play. You know, you're making good decision over there, and then you're playing a linebacker position, racking up a bunch of tackles. That's that's a cause for concern um, for the trainers in the Crandon Cardinals. So here comes Wasaki, second and ten. Arndt hands it off. Smith straight ahead. No, that's Rolo. Rolo down to the 23-yard line. Rolo gains five yards. Rolo sneaking into the game, getting a couple carries. One big play, 19 yards, another five-yard gain. Doing real good coming off the sidelines for the Rangers. So Rolo's five yards brings up a third down and five. Ball is at the 23-yard line. This is Smith. He slashes to the right side, breaks a tackle. Going to muscle his way for a first down. Good running effort. Russell Smith down the right side. Gets down to about the 17, 16 yard line. So a gain of eight yards by Russell Smith. It's a first and 10 for the Wasaki Rangers at about the 16 yard line. I like what Coach Russ is doing right here, kind of platooning these running backs a little bit, giving Russell Smith a break, giving Eric Arndt a break, you know, bringing in Rolo, coming into the game, a couple quick carries, and then giving it right back to Smith again. Here's Arndt. Hands off Smith. No, nope. yes, Smith has it straight ahead. Second effort. It's going to gain a couple of yards in there. Got stood up at the line of scrimmage, then surged forward. Good belly fake that time by uh, Arndt as he played that one pretty well. Gain of only a yard, but it certainly looked like a good second effort to 
get the yard on that one. It'll be second down and nine. Ball is resting just inside the 15-yard line. Arndt with Rolo and Smith alongside. This is Rolo straight up the middle. Rolo down to about the 10 to the 9-yard line. And that's going to bring up end of the third quarter. So we'll take a break and be back after this on Hits 96. Go west on 180 at the holiday. Save on cars and trucks every day. You're sure to save above the wing you take that drive. West on 180 to the riverside. You get to the roundabout, make sure you yield. Don't go straight, cause it's all cornfields. Just turn left when you see that sign. Come on in to the riverside. We'll find what you're looking for. Just show up at our front door. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks. No overhead. Six you big bucks, come take a ride If you dare out with the cows in the country air You save big money on your next ride When you see your friends at Riverside From the West Pick 64 until you get Our front door in Marinette You're sure to save a bundle when you take that drive One way or another get to Riverside One way or another get to Riverside And we're back at Wasaki. Mike Lyons, Jake Scrivens. The score is 6-6. Wasaki and Crandon. And Wasaki has the football at the nine-yard line on their second possession here of of the uh, second half. And we're already starting uh, the fourth quarter, Jake. And uh, you can see a little bit uh, as the conditioning is starting to play a part. Absolutely. You know, coming in, beginning of the season, you only get a couple weeks of practice in, a couple a week or so of that is probably without pads just to get that conditioning up. You know, both teams in, 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 late into this third quarter and now getting into the fourth quarter, sucking some wind a little bit here, a lot of, a couple of cramps here from the Cranon side. You know, condition's going to play a factor here for this fourth quarter. This has been a grinded out type of match so far tonight. Yeah, a lot of coaches will tell you there's, there's in shape and there's game shape. And they're just not in game shape yet. They're, they're getting there, but Oh, absolutely, and this is a long, I mean, 12-minute quarters, is, and especially a game like this, it's a quick game, but this is a, a fast-paced game as well, run, 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 you know, a lot of you know, harder blocking, you're not sitting back and pass blocking here a lot of times, so, you know, this is this is going to be an interesting fourth quarter to watch here as the Rangers knock it on the door again. Arndt calls the signals, keeps it himself up the middle, breaks it around the right side, he's only going to gain... Maybe a yard. They're going to give them to about the eight-yard line. It'll be third and or fourth down and about a yard or two. It's going to be two yards. So a gain of a couple, three yards. It is fourth down and two at about the eight-yard line. So another chance for the Wasaki Rangers deep in Crandon territory. In the shadow of the goal line, Arndt comes up over center. Smith behind him, trips to the left. Kapinski to the right. Arndt, pass in the air. Batted away by Crandon at the goal line. And Wasaki comes up empty once again. And so Crandon will take over first and ten at the eight yard line now back into the game kyle wagner is back into the game good defensive play by himself and damon lakehouse on that just being there putting some pressure on connor kapinski knocking that ball away and not getting the easy score on that quick slam so now it's very very important for wasaki to hold crandon here if they can keep them from getting a couple of first downs they will be in good shape but we're in the fourth quarter and uh, overtime is looming. Here comes Crandon. Hand off. Riley Wagner. Second effort. Gains about six yards. Out to about the 14. Good second and third effort by Wagner as he uh, got hit at the line of scrimmage but kept his feet moving. And he's got almost seven yards. We're going to call it a... A long three, second and four. Here comes the Cardinals. Kyle Wagner looking over the Wasaki defense. 
Handoff again. This will be Tupper. Tupper gains about three yards. He's going to be close to that first down, right at the stick. And they're going to measure. So he's either got four or three. <laughs> three Captain and, obvious. Three, three and a half. We'll give him <laughs> three and a half. You know, good job there by Tupper, especially in the second half coming out, um, getting some big carries, nine, 15 yards. He had a, a loss in there. Wasaki sniffed that one out. And you know, just doing a better job here, you know, leading rusher coming into this season. You know, granted, last season, forget about that, but you got to think, you got to step up and be a senior. Well, this is his time to shine here. He needs to break one out and um, put a score on the board for the Cardinals. But then again, Wasaki needs to corral him in like they've been doing all game. They've been doing a great job of that. Gain of four, first down for Crandon, and they'll have the ball at about the 19-yard line. 10-20 to go here in the football game. We're tied at 6. We might have extra time here if nothing happens. As our quarters have by very, very quickly. Crandon comes up to the line of scrimmage. Handoff straight ahead. And fighting for everything he could get is Wag Riley Wagner. He's going to gain... Maybe three yards. Second down and seven. Here comes Wyatt Cheney over the ball for Crandon. Here's Wagner. Looks over the defense. Power eye to the left. He'll keep it this time around the right side. He's got some running room. Breaks a tackle across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Good, tough running by Wagner, and he's pulling up his leg a little bit, cramping up again, but he picks up enough for the first down. From the 22 to the 34. I think Coach Jim Moore of the Cardinals needs to kick it back a little bit here on Kyle Wagner. You don't want to hurt your star quarterback in the first game of the season. Cramps are not. Cramps can lead to other things, definitely. So he's under center. Wasaki blitzing the A-gap. Wagner keeps it. Hit. Bounces off. He picks up a couple extra yards before he's rolled down by Rollo. And he's getting up slowly again. He's grabbing the back of that leg. Gain of about eight yards. Gutting it out is Wagner. Second down and a long three. Long two. Here comes Ty Flannery with the play. A lot of guts by that young man right now, number nine, Kyle Wagner, just really gritting it out here and showing why he is a senior and why he's a leader on this football team. He comes up under center, power eye to the left. Handoff, Tupper, tries the outside. Wasaki had it sniffed out, now he's got an opening. He's starting down the sideline across the 50 to the 43-yard line. Gain of 15 yards on the play, and Tupper has a first down in Wasaki territory at the 42-43 yard line. The clock is rolling. Eight minutes and change. And continuing to roll. Crandon has it in Wasaki territory at the 43 yard line. We're tied at six. Here comes Crandon. Wasaki has got to put up a stone wall here soon. Motion by Crandon. Handoff inside to Tupper. And he's going to gain maybe a yard on the play. Defense comes in for Wasaki. Pulling it up. Looks like number 55. Looks like Carnot on the stop. Second down and ten. They're not going to give him anything. We gave him uh, an inch. Second down. They're calling it nine. Seven well, and a half. Seven and a half to go in the football game. We're tied at six. Wasaki and Crandon. Wagner. Kyle. Under center. Hands it to Riley. Riley tried to break a tackle. But he's still going to pick up about four, maybe five yards on the play. Coming over with the stop was Quinton Ranallo. 
We're going to give them four, second down, or third down and six. Definitely four down territory for Crandon inside the 40 at the 38-yard line. Here comes the play being run in by Blake Fenwick. Play being given to Kyle Wagner. Crandon hustles up to the line of scrimmage. Wagner, deliberate, looks it over. Wasaki, everybody in tight. Hand off to the outside. This will be Riley Wagner. Second, third effort, but he's going to be dropped down. Going to be short of the first down. It'll be fourth and about four. We're going to give him two yards on that. Fourth and four, and let's see what Crandon comes up with here. A big play for Crandon and Wasaki. Six. Six minutes and about five seconds to go in the football game. We're still tied at six. This could be a big play in the football game. Fourth down and four. Let's see what Crandon has up their sleeve. Wagner hands to Tupper, and he is met in the backfield, and Wasaki has held. Quentin Ronaldo also... Uh, Number 83, Landon Wallace was in there. So fourth down turns into first down, and the Rangers have held. So Wasaki has a chance with five and change to go here in the football game, but we are still tied at six. Wasaki has had chance after chance in the red zone and have only cashed it in once. That may come back to haunt them. Let's see if they can get it going. You know, with 5.39 to go, Mike, this is a perfect time to take 5 minutes and 38 seconds and score. Arndt gets the snap, keeps it up the middle. He's got some running room down the middle. He may be off to the races. He is gone. See you later. Bye-bye. Touchdown, Wasaki. Wow. Eric Arndt goes 61 yards. The second 61-yard play for the Wasaki Rangers and Eric Arndt was gone. 61 yards. 520. I can't see the other side there. 28. 528 to go in the football game. And Wasaki has taken the lead after all those tries in the red zone. It's a big play. From 61 yards out, Eric Arndt was gone. And once he got into the secondary, there was nobody there. The linebackers have been blitzing play after play after play. Wasaki had the right play called at the right time. Here comes the two-point conversion. Arndt under, gets the snap. Hands it off to Rolo. Rolo goes straight ahead. I don't think he made it. He's going to come up a little short. So it's no good. But Wasaki has taken the lead with 5.28 to go in the football game. We'll take a quick break and be back with the rest of this football game as Wasaki leads it 12-6. to Prestige Auto Body and Truck Repair has over 25 years of experience to make your repairs fast, easy, and worry-free. With around-the-clock towing, electronic estimating, drop-off, pickup, delivery, and the comfort of knowing Prestige Auto Body and Truck Repair is an iCar Gold Class shop, one of only 25 in the state. Located on the corner of Highway 64 and 180 in Marinette. Call 715-732-4544. That's 715-732-4544 to get your estimate today. Prestige Auto Body and Truck Repair. They take the worry out of your collision repair. Visit North Motorsports, the area's only full-line dealer of Honda Can-Am, Ski-Doo, Sea-Doo, and Snapper Outdoor products. From their friendly sales staff to their certified service technicians, they've got you covered. Visit North Motorsports, 3711 10th Street in Menominee, or give them a call at 906-863-5592. And Kane, driving the game to you as the number one truck destination north of Green Bay, Kane Chevrolet Buick GMC Ocado, Marinette, Sobosaki has got back into the end zone, and they lead it 12-6 to as we move towards the end of this football game. This may be Crandon's last opportunity. Smith, to tee it up, kicks it downfield. Picking it up is Wautmatowski. Comes down the left side. He's got some running room. He's across the 45-yard line and tackled there at the 48, coming up to stop the play was Quentin Ranallo. Ranallo knocked him down at the 48-yard line, but uh, 
Crandon will have it. At the 48-yard line. Now let's go back to the last possession here by the Cardinals. Getting stopped by Wasaki. A great defensive stand for Wasaki after a nice long drive by the Cardinals. And then one play, Eric Garn takes the ball out of his own, out of his teammates' hands. Tells him, I'm keeping this one myself. I'm going to go 61 yards untouched for the, for the score right down the middle. So here comes Wagner over center. Rolls to the right side. He's got some running room across midfield. He breaks into the open. Finally, Wasaki pulls him down. Coming over with the tackle is Hunter Durian. And Crandon gets the ball to the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 15 yards. And a first down. First and 10 for Crandon. Inside Wasaki, Wasaki territory at the 38-yard line. They trail 12-6. to 6. The Rangers, with the big play run by Eric Art, lead it by a touchdown. Here comes Crandon, Wagner, Kyle. Calls the signals. Hands off to Riley. He's caught right away. Maybe a gain of a yard. Coming up with the initial stop was Sawyer Dunlap. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and ten. No gain on the play, second down. So, Crandon, with second and long, 420 remaining in the football game. Wasaki with the lead, 12 to 6. MO Conference football. Opening night of the season. Wasaki looking to get into the win column. Wagner keeps it around the left side. He's hit and drived, uh, driven out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. And that's going to stop the clock. And getting up slowly is Joe McTrusty. He's going to go off the field. That was a gain of about five yards on the play. It'll be third and five. Ball rests at the 34-yard line. 401. Third and five for uh, big play here. Third and a long five. And they want the clock to roll. Not rolling yet. Still at 401. 401. Thought he went out of bounds, but maybe that was the play before. Handoff. Pitch to Tupper. Tupper tries the right side and he is hit and hit hard. Eric Arndt came up with maybe the stop of the game as it looked like Kyle Wagner was going to be off and running and Arndt came out of the secondary, leveled him for no gain. So another big fourth down. This game has been about fourth down. Yeah, both teams, three turnover on downs for both teams and we're sitting under three and a half to go. Three and a half to go in the football game. Wasaki leads at 12 to 6. Could be the play of the game right here. Here comes Kyle Wagner. Power eye to the right. Everybody in tight. Let's see what the Cardinals have in store. He's going to roll to the left. Wagner looks, throws, complete. And catching it in the flats is number 38, Tanner Tyson. From the 34 down to the 21, a gain of 13 on fourth down, and it's first and 10 for Crandon at the 21. But the clock is not their ally right now. The clock is rolling. 2.50. 2.50 and rolling. Still a lot of time. They're at the 21-yard line. But they have to step up the pace a little bit. Here comes Wagner. Kyle keeps it. No, he hands it off to Tupper. Boy, that was a good fake play. Tupper goes down to the 13-yard line. Wagner is bent over sideways. He is a tired football player. Ball's at the 13-yard line after a gain of eight yards on the play. Second and two at the 12-yard line. Wasaki needs 
a stop. Two minutes. Two minutes to go in the football game. Wagner keeps it along the left side. Breaks a tackle. Inside the 10. Down to about the five-yard line. That'll be a first down. After a gain of about seven yards. So the ball is at the five-yard line. First and goal. And the clock is rolling. Under two. I think now inside the 10-yard line, you take your time here. Minute 42 and counting. Take your time. You've got about three, four plays left. Get in the end zone. They're not okay. sure of the play. We're going to reset here, and I believe there's the timeout. And there comes the timeout. So a timeout taken by Crandon. We'll take one 30-second break and be back here on Hits 96. Let me tell you, Advanced Motors, located in Coleman, has AMSOIL for all your motorcycle, ATV, marine, and vehicle needs. AMSOIL, the first in synthetics. Are you or your student moving? Advanced Motors, a U-Haul dealer, also carries packing and moving supplies for all your needs. Stop in or call today at 920-897-2677. That's 920-897-2677. That's right. Badger Credit Union is pleased to sponsor high school sports and wishes best of luck to all area teams. Badger Credit Union is proud to be a part of the community. Become a member if you live or work in Marinette, Menominee, or O'Connell Counties. See them for all types of mortgage loans, auto, vacation, and unsecured loans. They also have debit and ATM cards, share draft, share accounts, and term accounts. Take advantage of no fee checking for students and senior citizens. Badger Credit Union, 870 Frontage Road, Pestigo. Well, Jake, here we go. It's first and goal. Ball at the five-yard line for Crandon. And Wasaki needs to play some defense and get this one stopped. You know, Wasaki's been playing good defense all game long. This is a time that you really got to bear down here. And buck 28 to go. You know, this is Fort Hound territory, obviously, for Crandon. you got to put the, put the nails down. you got to get tough right here. Wagner under center. Hands it off. This will be Riley Wagner straight ahead. Big surge. Inch. Down to about the two to the one yard line. The referee says he's just short. He's in. Touchdown. Riley Wagner. Goes in on the five yard run with one, and I can't see. 16. 116 to go, and now the extra point. Absolutely important. If Wasaki stops them, there is a chance for overtime. Wasaki needs to make a play here. The play coming in from the sideline. Let's see what Crandon has called. Wasaki has had their chances. They have been in the red zone. They have been in position to score and squandered a couple of chances. And let's hope it doesn't come back to hurt them. Here comes the Cardinals. Under center, Wagoner. Goes to the outside and comes up short. No, they you're going to say he's in. in. Wow. Yeah, he is. He, you can see he's in. Late call, but he is in across yep. the goal line. He crossed the goal line for the two-point conversion. Wow. You could see that last effort. He leaned forward, and they're, they're saying he got in before the foot got down. And so... It is a two-point conversion, and Crandon, who has been behind most of the game, or I shouldn't say most of the game, but have never had the lead, now have the lead with a minute and 16, and so it's hurry-up time now for Wasaki. Wow. After the big play by Arndt, you would think that uh, Wasaki had the momentum and maybe they relaxed too much. And Crandon marched down the field. It took them eight plays to go 52 yards and take the lead at 14 to 12 with the two-point conversion. And so here we go. Masaki brings up the kick return team. They'll be moving left to right on your radio dial as Crandon will... 
attempt to, or not attempt to kick off. They will kick off from the 40-yard line. Well, first and foremost, what Wasaki needs to do is stop that ball early, get into good field position. they got two timeouts, a minute 16 left. You don't have to go for the home run ball on the first play. Kobe it, Galleon is kicking off, so they've taken out uh, Wagoner, giving him a break. He still has his helmet on. It looks like he will be coming out on defense. So here comes the kick. It's a squibber down the middle. Picked up at the 15-yard line. Got an opening. Around the 30 and dropped there. With the return was, uh, it looks like Dustin Westfall. He got out to the 31-yard line, so Wasaki will have it. First and 10 at the 31-yard line with about a minute 10 to go in the football game. So there is time. I don't. I think Wasaki's only taken one timeout, maybe not any. No, they got two left. So they do have two timeouts left. So there is time, but you're going to have to chew up some yardage. Now, like, like I said before, Mike, you don't have to go for that home run ball in the first play. Chip off 20 yards, 20 yards. you got a couple of timeouts, you know, a couple of out patterns toward the sideline. Save yourself a timeout for once you get closer to the goal line. Wasaki's got a good chance here. Crandon's taking the timeout. It's their third. So that's it for them. And, well, as you said, we're looking at 69 yards, a minute and 10. It can be done, but you're going to have to pick up at least one or two big plays along the way. Oh, absolutely. You need a big play here. You need one of your playmakers to step up. Connor Kapinski, Eric Arndt, you, you know, you need a pass and catch right here, and you need a, you know, 20, 30 yards at a crack to get down here into maybe maybe field goal range. I don't know what their kicker has for a field goal leg, but... You know, that's got to be at least inside the 20-yard line, I would think. He's not going to be able to make something over 30 yards. That's a long field goal for a high school kid. You know, hopefully they get down and get, a, get in the end zone, you know. So they're making their plans, and Crandon looked at the defense, didn't like what they saw, and we'll see what happens as we move down towards the end of this football game again. Jake, next week we will be in Peshtigo. Yeah, in Peshtigo. The Bondwell Bear is coming to Peshtigo. Friday, 7 o'clock, same time, same place. We'll be right here on Hits 96, WSFQ. I'm kind of excited. I've, I've never seen Peshtigo play. Good team. You know, last year, looking at, you know, we'll get through a bunch of the statistics and stuff next week in our pregame show, but, you know, Peshtigo returning a bunch of uh, juniors that were good ball players for them last year, losing a couple of key seniors. But, you know, just like this game, it's uh, people who are going to step up and, and fill those shoes of the seniors that left. Art takes it around the left side. He got some running with all flag, and Arndt is going to go. Oh, he's out of bounds, but there's going to be a clip. Yep, and you could see it from here. There was a crackback block on the left side that sprung Arndt around the outside. And not only is it going to be 15 yards, but it's going to be time off the clock. 101 yet on the clock, and it looked like Sawyer Dunlop pleading his case with the referee that he got his helmet around the front side of the chest there to make that block legal, but unfortunately the referee didn't see it that way, and 15-year penalty. Excuse Illegal me. use of hands, and that's going to be a 10-yard ten ten penalty then. I thought it was going to be a clip the way it looked. They're going to say put his hands in the wrong place, and so that's 10 yards. Brings it back to the 21-yard line. Yeah, that's another degree of difficulty here for the Rangers to get back into scoring position. You know, they've had their chances here tonight, a minute and one second. Still plenty of time. There's some big playmakers for those Rangers down there. Here they go. The Rangers have the ball inside the 20, and it's not the right 20. Aren't back to pass. Has time. Throws it deep down. He's got, got Kopinski. Caught at the 45-yard line. Beautiful pass to the 48-yard line, 19-31 and 3, so it's 34-yard pass. Has the Rangers in business. The clock stops while they set the chains. First and 10 for the Rangers at the 48-yard line. So there is... Watch that same play here again, definitely, with four wide receivers on the field. There's a stoppage, and the clock starts, 54 to go. They have three receivers to the left. Arndt fumbles the ball, goes forward. 
And they're going to end up taking a timeout here, I'm sure. Grant calls a timeout. Under a minute, 42 seconds to go. It'll be second down and 10. A bad snap gives the Rangers the ball at the 47-yard line. We'll take a quick timeout and be back on Hits 96. Mother Nature. Or Human Nature. Are you protected from the unexpected? An American Family Insurance agent can help you determine how much and what type of coverage is right for you. Call today for your free personal insurance review so you can check it off your list and off your mind. Call Pat Robbins at 715-582-4631. Your local American Family Insurance agent. Are you still shivering from last year's energy bills? BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning will help. Call 715-927-5656 for full service, including tune-ups on your existing system, repair, replacement, or new construction. The number again is 715-927-5656. Whether it's an upgrade or a tune-up, BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning has a solution. 24-7 service for your convenience. Call 715-927-5656. That's BJ's Heating and Air Conditioning. Orange pass intended for Kapinski falls incomplete at the 40-yard line. It'll be third down and 10. That clock ticking away under 40 seconds. Wasaki's going to have to go with a big play here pretty quick. They'll have to throw it downfield. Yeah, you got a couple plays here. You got to get the ball 20, 30 yards right here. Twins on both sides. Prevent defense. Brandon. Arndt. Got him. Nice pass across the middle. Complete to the 25-yard line. That pass is caught. There's that pass you've been asking for all night. Dustin Westfall has the catch at the 26-yard line. First and 10. From the 48 to the 6, a 22-yard pass. First and 10. Wasaki in business. And, and with 37 seconds stoppage of play here. Okay, okay they said there's, they're going to run some time off the clock. Okay. 32, 31, 30, 28. That's where they're stopping it is at 28 seconds. And there, there's some discussion with the referees. The, the head referee came over here, said run it down to 28 or 27. The clock should have stopped as soon as he was hit because it was a first down. Let's see what they do here. Well, they're going to leave it where it is. Yep. 28 to go. 28 seconds in this exciting football game. Hang on now. Another stoppage. I think Coach Ross wants an explanation. And there's a, a little drama here. Now I think they've got things straightened out. So there's 28 seconds to go in the football game. Aren't in the shotgun. Will they go to the end zone? Still time. Two time one timeout, right? One timeout for the Rangers, yeah. So they still, got, still have a chance to stop the clock. It stops with the first down. Aren't back to pass across the middle. Almost intercepted. They snipped it out that time. I think the middle is closing up a little bit. That safety coming up. Almost, Len, oh, go ahead. Almost taking that ball away. And like you were saying, I think that was Blake Fenwick coming up, making a play on that from the safety position. If it was caught, Landon Wallace had a touchdown. But Crandon got in there. 18 to go. 18. Second down and 10. Ball's at the 26. Wonder if sooner or later you throw the jump ball to Ronaldo. Full blitz. There it, is. there it goes. Towards Kapinski. Incomplete. Good defense down there. I believe Damon Lakehouse was the... Was no, that was 40, so that was uh, Justin McIntosh who had the defense. They went for Kopinski down the right sideline. It's third and 10, and about 13 seconds, I think, to go. So enough for two, maybe three plays, depending on how fast they go. 
And then that question is, do they have a kicker? <laughs> High school football, you never know. Yeah, if they can get 10, 15 more yards, they might have a chance at it. Art was to his right. Throws it up. He's got, got Ronaldo. Oh, touchdown! Unbelievable! Wow! I'm sorry that I yelled like that, but that was... Unbelievable. Odell Beckham, Beckham Jr. style. He got wow. that one one-handed in the end zone. 26-yard pass to Quentin Ronaldo, Ronaldo in the end zone from Arndt. Rolling to his right, threw up the jump ball, and a touchdown. Wow. With five seconds to go. Five seconds to go in the football game. And it's 18-14. Unbelievable. That, what a beautiful pass. Great pass, great catch. Quentin Ronaldo just getting some space away from the, de the shorter defensive back. Arndt put that in the perfect position off the back side of the end zone. He's the only place that could, could be caught was by Ronaldo. Hand off. Rolo straight up the middle for the two-point conversion. So Rolo goes Tony Rolo. Runs in the conversion, makes it 20 to 14 with five seconds to go in the football game. Unbelievable catch, unbelievable throw, uh, drive for the ages in the first game of the season. Unbelievable! That was that was a, a you know great job by the Wasaki Rangers. Just you can't give up in that situation. You're backed up all the way to the 20 your own 20 yard line with a minute. And one second to go, you go almost 80 yards, I do believe, and we'll get to those statistics later on. But, you know, 80 yards in under a minute, you know, some great passing by Quinton, or by um, Eric Arndt, Quinton Ronaldo getting a big catch, Westfall getting a big catch, you know, Kapinski getting another big catch for a big gain. You know, great job all the way around by the Rangers. Give credit where credit is due. The Wasaki Ranger offensive line giving Eric Arndt that protection to get those pass plays off. They do take a little bit of time to develop when you're getting 30, 40 yards down the field. Well, unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Rangers poised to win the first game of the season. Crandon had the lead at 14-12. to 12, An 81-yard drive down the field. Wasaki into the end zone with five seconds to go on a 26-yard pass to Quinton Ronaldo. And Tony Rolo ran in the two-point conversion. It's 20 to 14. Got to hold our breath because this team, Crandon, does have some speed, and they can move the ball quickly down the field on a on a kickoff return. I think right here, a squib kick, a short kick that gets to one of the up men, just so you don't get it to those speedy backs way in the in the deep. Kick by Smith is touched at the 35-yard line. On the ground it goes, and I. It's it. And that is the football game. Wow. Wow, the Wasaki Rangers have taken victory from the jaws of defeat, and they defeat the Crandon Cardinals by the final score of 20 to 14. So they open their season 1 and 0 with an exciting. It doesn't get much better than that. An exciting victory over the Crandon Cardinals. And so we'll take a quick break and be back with the summary of tonight's football game on Hits 96. Looking for a credit union that truly cares about you and the community you live in? Then you ought to stop and see the folks at Bayshore Credit Union. Membership is open to anyone living or working in Marinette, Menominee, and Ocado counties. Whether it's everyday banking, a new auto loan, new mortgage, even a consolidation loan, they can help. And it's never too early to start establishing good credit. Bayshore Credit Union, located at 1514 Cleveland Avenue, Marinette. They're looking forward to meeting you. Griffith's Lumber is here for your community and ours. Stop in to get help planning and designing all of your projects and leave with the materials you need, such as lumber, power tools, hand tools, paints, lawn and garden care items, seasonal items, Frigidaire appliances, and also a variety of equipment to rent for all jobs and seasons. Visit them on Facebook or at CrivetsLumber.com. Crivets Lumber, your local lumber company, here for your community. Located on Main Street in Crivets.
Kermis Auto Parts in Dyer Street and Kermis carries quality CarQuest parts. Is your car in need of repair? See Kermis Auto Parts, your authorized CarQuest dealer. Some of their featured products include batteries, spark plugs, filters, brakes, new water pumps, and so much more. Come check out everything Kermis Auto Parts, your local CarQuest dealer, has to offer. Located on Dyer Street in Kermis. Good luck to all teams in the m and Conference. Well, what a game it was here at Wasaki. The Wasaki Rangers come from behind in the last uh, minute and 40 seconds of the football game as they were able to pull it out with a touchdown pass to Quentin Ronaldo to defeat the Crandon Cardinals 20-16. to 16. Uh, It was a game of back and forth through much of the first half as both teams uh, made stops on fourth down plays deep in uh, each other's territory, but it was finally uh, the second quarter that Eric Arndt was able to get into the end zone on a 28-yard run. Russell Smith set that up with a 20-yard run. Then Smith rolled around the left side, and he went 28 yards for a touchdown. And at 6.56 of the second quarter, uh, the two-point conversion failed. It was Wasaki 6 and Crandon nothing. Well, Crandon didn't waste much time. They came back on their next possession. They went with five running plays, and then came the pass. Kyle Wagner to Taller Wallentowski, a 43-yard pass over the right side and over the Wasaki defense. And at 3:31 of the second quarter, our kick was tied. Our, our game was tied at 6-6 when the kick failed, and that was our halftime score, 6-6. Both teams came out in the start of the second half and moved the ball smartly, but both teams were stopped on fourth down plays, and uh, Crandon had a four and out before Wasaki came down again, uh, marched the ball inside the 20-yard line on the fourth and goal, a pass to the end zone failed, and so it was still six to six. Crandon was uh, moving the ball smartly, got down to about the 39-yard line where things uh, finally came to an end, and Wasaki took over, and all they needed was one play. It was a 61-yard Eric Arndt touchdown run with 5.28 to go in the uh, third quarter or in the, in the football game. It was 12-6 Wasaki, and it looked like they had the momentum on their side, but Crandon said, hey, wait a minute. Crandon came back with a drive of their own. It took them uh, eight plays to go 52 yards. Riley Wagner finished it on a five-yard run and a two-point run, we believe, by Tupper. Uh, Trevor Tupper made it 14-12 Crandon with a minute 16 to go in the football game. And things looked kind of bleak for Wasaki, but hey, they dug down deep and they went at it. A 39-yard pass or 34-yard pass to uh, uh, Connor Kapinski gave them the ball across midfield. Then another 22-yard pass moved it down to the uh, 26-yard line. And then on a third down, Quentin Ronaldo was able to get behind a shorter defender. Eric Arndt rolled to his right, got enough room to launch a perfect pass, and reaching up with one hand and pulling it down was Quinton Ronaldo in the end zone with five seconds to go. Tony Rolo added the two-point conversion, and Wasaki wins it 20-14. to 14. All right, going over to the Cranon Cardinals on the short end of the stick. What a great football game, first and foremost, but... Looking at the individual statistics here, passing-wise, 2 of 5 for 56 yards and a touchdown was Kyle Wagner. Kyle Wagner, the star of the game for the Cardinals, definitely with 12 rushes, 90 yards. Um, His brother Riley, 17 rushes for 45 yards and a touchdown. And going over the passing, one catch by Wallentowski for 43 yards and a big big play touchdown for them. Team-wise, 45 plays total tonight. 246 yards, no turnovers other than the turnover on downs, which did prove a factor in this game, definitely on both sides of the ball. Going over the Wasaki Rangers victorious tonight. Eric Arndt tonight, definitely our star of the game as far as, you know, all overall 6 of 17, 157 yards passing with one touchdown, a big touchdown nevertheless. Russell Smith, 14 carries, 75 yards. And Eric Arndt with 15 carries, 217 yards, and two scores for the Rangers on the ground, along with the passing touchdown as well. Four catches for Connor Kapinski for 109 yards. And Quentin Ronaldo with the biggest catch of the ball game, one catch for him tonight, 26 yards. 
And Westfall with one catch, 22 yards. The Rangers, 45 plays, 487 yards of total offense tonight. They were able to move the ball, but they had trouble finishing the drive. That the drive they had to finish, they did, and they've got the 20 to 14 win. Visit North Motorsports, the area's only full line dealer of Honda, Can Am, Ski Doo, Sea Doo, and Snapper outdoor products. From the friendly sales staff to the certified service technicians, they've got you covered. Visit North Motorsports at 3711 10th Street in Menominee, or give them a call at 906-863-5592. And Kane, driving the game to you as the number one truck destination north of Green Bay, Kane, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Ocano, and Marinette. And Jake, as we finish this game, uh, we're just getting started with exciting m and football. Next week, we're on the road to Peshtigo. On the road to Peshtigo, Bondwell Bears coming off a victory last night against the Kirby's Wolverines, going against the Peshtigo Bulldogs, and we'll have some more statistics. First first game, we'll see Peshtigo this year. Um, it's going to be a good ball game. Peshtigo's got a good team coming into this season. Uh, but not taken away from this game, if, if me and you calling these games Friday after Friday this year, if it's going to be anything like this, this is going to be one heck of a season to, to start this way. And I can only imagine what's going to happen from here, Mike. It was fun. So until next week, as uh, the Peshtigo Bulldogs will take on Bonduel, we'll be there. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock, a pregame show shortly before that. So for Jake Scrivens, I'm Mike Lyons. Once again, our final score, the Wasaki Rangers, in exciting fashion, defeat the Crandon Cardinals 20-14. to Good night, everybody. m Conference Sports Broadcast are brought to you by Badger Credit Union, North Honda Motorsports, American Family Insurance, Pat Robbins Agent, Bayshore Credit Union, Riverside Auto, Town and Community Insurance, Prestige Auto Body, Crivets Lumber, Farmers and Merchants Bank and Trust, Tri-City Physical Therapy, Menominee County Federal Credit Union, Pit Stop Quick Lube, BJ's Heating and Cooling, J&R Auto Parts and Service, Menards, Advanced Motorsports, Peshtigo National Bank, Kane Chevrolet Buick GMC, and Bayside Motorsports.